<laughs> give Thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> we are Legends of Avantress. This is Icebound. Lend us your strength and join us. Can't be talking when I'm you switch sorry. over. Just shut I'm up. So sorry. Winter is here. It is the early morning of the winter solstice, and though you know you have a hard, cold, trudging journey ahead of you, the feeling of the frozen ground under your feet serves as a happy reminder that you are still alive. There is a tangible sense of brooding expectancy lying across the land as nature itself seems to sense this change in season. Exactly 252 days have passed since you all met in the Wuzayan Tavern at the start of spring, nine full months ago. In that time, you have journeyed hundreds of miles on both sea and land. You have faced threats, mortal, once mortal, and cursed and you have endured. You have done what must be done to survive. The wretched undead monster you faced still haunts you. Its lust to consume, its terrible strength, its chilling scream that still echoes in the dark recesses of your mind. You hope to never be so close to death ever again. It seems that now only you five are all that remains of the crew of the moribound ship. Each step takes you farther away from their fates, from that nightmare. You find yourselves now trekking up the face of a great mountain. Though it is not the tallest or sharpest mountain you've seen in Drakkar, it is evident from your dreams that this is a place of power, and that you have been drawn to it. At your side, the mute footfalls of Daisy remain with you, another survivor of the brutalities of this realm. The world is ever cold, the skies now clear. With each step, you feel the air bite deeper and deeper. But the darkness of early morning grows lighter, and warming indigo hues wrap around you like a blanket. What happens next is up to you. Who is doing that? I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> it's for the best. Just There's somebody out in the car. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> fan, either they're honking or they're just lost in the car or whatever. <laughs> it's like seven <laughs> fucking Someone times. Someone a sandwich. <laughs> um, mechanically, uh, we've, we've actually skipped a day. Um, I, through D DM Fiat, have uh, pushed us uh, from the uh, morning that you saw just mm -hmm. after your confrontation with the spirit creature that uh, attempted to devour all of you, and uh, your victory over that creature, and this journey that you are now making up the side of the mountain. That means that you can all enjoy the benefits of a long rest. Oh, Let's heck in you. Yeah. It means that in the past 24 hours you've enjoyed uh, some necessary downtime. Uh, you've mended your clothes, you've sharpened blades, 
You've uh, uh, spent time in silence, pondering your situation, where you are now, how you feel. Uh, spent other hours in animated conversation with one another, trying to figure out what what to do once you reach the top of the mountain. And you've tended your bruises and your cuts and your wounds. So I'm just confirming, what does that mean for the people that died last session <laughs> with the death saves and everything? Wow, getting straight into yeah, that. Actually, no, that's a really good question. Because um, they don't... <coughs> it's only one per... Yeah, long rest, right? That's how I wrote the... the or is it one per week That's correct. So if they had three failed death saving throws, they'd be at two now. If they'd had two failed sa- saving throws, they'd well, be at... I died, so I had three. Um, so you're but I think you ha- we're going to have to track that separately. Yeah, Because yeah, D&D yeah. Beyond wipes them. And yeah, and then you like can't see your HP. And so, so write it, it will... Down. Uh, I'm gonna steal a pen. Yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah get it out the of the Batman. Batman. It is. That's the one. The Batman bucket. The pilot G2 seven millimeter. Oh, ladies ooh, and gentlemen. nice. That's, that's a pen. really great pen. Yeah. So I'm gonna Mike, can you pass right. me the green pen? That's Death right saves. There. I've yep, still got that's two. That's the one. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm much more vulnerable to dying <laughs> again. <laughs> the Pentel RSVP oh. medium. Oh, that's a spicy pen. That's the pen. <laughs> Uh, it leaks all over the place. It's horrible, oh. but it writes really well. Do you want this one? No, no, no. I okay. love the way they write. They just leak. All right. Well. So that is where you find yourselves. The six of you now making your way up. Mm-hmm. Um, what is uh, almost feels like a path. Uh, it, it's it's rocky, um, but there aren't times where you are confronted by you know a cliff face and have to make your way up. Uh, you you can wind your way around and uh, uh, still make good progress as you ascend. Oh, Bonobos, I'm hungry. You, you've been eating all of our food, no, Mr. No, Stanisco. no, it wasn't just me, but when are we going to stop for lunch or something, please? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Perhaps we stop for lunch. You ate five minutes ago. No, no, it wasn't enough. Please, you know you know it wasn't enough. We haven't had enough for, for forever. For, for, for months. It's been months. We haven't had enough food. Then you will starve. What? You will all starve. It is fine, we can tolerate it. We have been through much worse. <laughs> it has been a day. <laughs> well, I think that perhaps just after our uh, our harrowing experience with that creature, we're just a little more peckish as we regain our strength. Yes, yeah, no, that's exactly right. We're healing. We're, look, I'm a big, strong goblin man. I need to eat. I need to get my strength up. I'm ten times your size. I need more food than you do. <laughs> that seems a little greedy, don't you think? It's true. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that I'm starving to death over here. Well, I think my stomach is bigger than your head. <sighs> yeah, that's all well and good, but we don't have the food to feed you right now. So you're going to have to deal with the hunger, all right? <laughs> and I personally don't want to hear any more of it. We've got a lot we need to do. We're scaling a mountain. I don't know if you've noticed. We're scaling a mountain. I'm going to keep an eye out for eagle's eggs. Them's good eats. Oh, we'll see you. eagle eggs. I have not heard found mountain eagle eggs, but all right, Queenie. I'll try to keep it down. But I will keep my eyes out for any anything that would make for some good hunting. And you could do me a favor and keep your eye out for it too, and just let me know if you see something. All right? Yeah. All right. All right. That sounds like a plan, I guess. Oh, I'll look out for anything we can forage, like berries. <clears throat> Either way, I don't believe we should feed Barn Bows and Scream. Why not? We're punishing them? Last, out, of, out of character, last session, I determined that their hunger is some sort of like... It's not. It's nothing natural. It's not like, oh, they're healing. I don't recall <clears throat> if, you, if we mechanically resolved that, did we? I, I, I can't remember, <clears throat> but I would find... At least I would think that I would find it suspicious... Make make an insight check. Perfect. <coughs> that's pretty good. Ooh, and we have, our proficiency bonus is up, so that's uh, oh. twenty five. Or uh, yeah, twenty five. Yep. For the past uh, since your encounter, uh, for the past two days or day, I should say, um, you have never heard them complain about food as much. Uh, it, it seems to be the topic of conversation coming up much more more frequently, even when you were literally starving across an ice sheet, walking for days and weeks without food. 
For Scrim, it's it's only a little weird. It's very weird for Marcus. <laughs> yeah. But Scrim's only acting slightly more rational than usual. You will not feed them because it is a symptom of the terrible curse that has reanimated their flesh. What? No, no, there's no okay. curse. You're going to have to stop walking after you say something like that. You don't get to say something like that and then just trudge along like that was a normal sentence. Do you think they'll turn into... If we don't, Wendigos? If that's true, and we don't feed them, they're gonna eat us. I'm not interested in eating any, any of you. You're my friends. And if you were to get hungrier and hungrier, who's gonna be the first to go, Scrim? I, I would never. I would never. If her fate is the same as Mr. Clemens, and no, thank you. I'd rather die. Yeah, and besides, we can fish. We can plenty of fishing and hunting. It wouldn't ever come down to us eating each other. We already know that we're not gonna do that. But until they do, they will not turn into. The beast that we just felled. Oi, Scrim here. Why don't we just uh, just eat some ancient estuary, and maybe that'll feel like we're able to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. There. Oh, I just want to be able to save her for later. Oh, 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 oh get a oh, big. Oh, no. oh. Barnabas, that's the greatest idea you've ever had. Oh, here, have some more. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's like it's in my hair. Like, it's in my like goatee. It's like all up in my nose I'm and my mouth. I'm right oh, so uh, much celery salt. Uh, 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 oh, it helps a little. Oh, you uh, can't be enjoying that. I am. Mm, you can't uh, even taste it. You must just have the worst dry mouth you've had in a long time. With reckless <laughs> abandon. <laughs> There's no way you're making enough saliva to get that down in the quantities you just shoved in your mouth. Well, I, you know what I what I I would be moving for now some mustard powder. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't keep that for yourself. Oh, here, here, you go. here you go. This is gonna turn into the cinnamon challenge. Real yeah. cool. <laughs> I would also like to know, uh, for you, um, your morning started differently than it has for three months oh. because the Fernway rope became uh, the tobacco of choice out of your grow bag. Oh! It now is a color of bruised plum. It tastes uh, coffee, peaty, cedar. What was the name of that again? Fernwe Rope. Ah, finally some fern, so finally some fernwe rope. Something different. Oh yeah, just a little. <laughs> oh, so is it midwinter? It is the day of midwinter. A holy day for you, I believe. What does that mean? This is... Are you asking that in no, character? No, Sandy asking. Uh, yeah, I, I think in the morning I would have done some, you know, I, I would have probably prayed and, and done more rituals than I normally would have done. Um, but now that we're on the mountain, I'll be very sort of seriously focused, given the day What's that it now? is. It's the winter solstice. <laughs> it's the shortest day of the year. Um, it is, uh, yeah, it, it is a day of celebration for you, very much. This is not... Uh, forever. I believe, or I hope, that whatever force, or being, or whatever it is, is that is calling us to the top of this mountain. I hope that it perhaps can help these two. They're literally shoving seasonings in their face and inhaling them. Better than wasting the rations. <laughs> Continue, please. <laughs> oh. Where are we thinking, Mr. Samuskoch? <laughs> Dealer's choice, really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about Mr. Fire Blossom? <laughs> How about you? Surprise us. With seasoning. Yeah. What are you uh, what are you feeling? How about some cayenne? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, it's good for your stomach. <clears throat> Oh, 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 that one's oh, spicy! Oh, it's whoa. really great on a breakfast burrito. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that does a number on your sinuses. Mm. Are we sure mm. watching this is better than the rations? <laughs> Are we sure? I look at the color of the snow. You're getting this everywhere. Uh, oh, the tray, I dropped some. <laughs> it's like a snow oh, it's refreshing! <laughs> Everyone makes a perception check. Great. Great. <laughs> Thank God. 
Does this uh, perception check involve uh, any kind of um, oh. hearing or smelling food? No. <laughs> What's it like to hear food? <laughs> oh shit! <Okay. laughs> no, wouldn't it be also be like prey or fish or something? I, and a live beast, I guess you could consider food, but that I think is uh, it goes beyond the intent of the of the. I got a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. Thirteen. Seven. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, Queenie, you're near and uh, Scrim. Uh, it, you're facing the uh, uh, the two gentlemen, Taishan and Barnabas, and uh, their backs are to uh, uh, what you observe. But over uh, through their, their, their bodies, you can see up on the mountain the tiniest flick of light suddenly appear. What it looks like uh, uh, a torchlight. Uh, and then another and then another and you start to see more and more uh, uh, illumination. Um, it's very medium light right now and it's, it's very early morning uh, and uh, they're, they're very plainly these red dots starting to appear on sp- and, and sproying on the side of the mountain. Sproying? Who, yeah. who, who sproying. all saw it? Uh, you, Barnabas, you, uh, Yornir and Queenie. Y'all um, seen that? What is that? I mean, it's gotta be fire. That's perfect. That's where we gotta go. They gotta have food. <clears throat> Supplies. We're saved. It means there is someone else on this mountain. Civilization. Not necessarily civilization. They could be bad. They they could mean harm for us. That's true. <clears throat> but if they are bad, we can deal with them and take the supplies. That <sighs> is true. I mean, maybe they have food. Hey, they have to. No, nobody would be out here without food. That would be crazy. <clears throat> well, let us continue. There's only like one path up. Right? Aye. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's... It, on, on this side of the mountain, it hasn't gotten to its like steepest descent okay. just yet. Um, it feels like you'd be able to walk straight up. Uh, you can tell that there's almost like a twist or a wind to the top of this uh, 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 mountaintop. That when you get to that point, you're either going to have to scale or try and find a path that maybe scoots along the edge. And the fire... The torch that we saw is on the way. Basically, it's the direction we're going. It does appear to be directly in the direction you're going, yes. All right, we'll just... We will approach. We should approach with friendly intent. <clears throat> Everyone we've met so far has been very welcoming to us. Except for the crew <laughs> and the Wendigo and then those... Possessed monsters outside. <laughs> Don't forget about that metal guy. Oh, the snowblind monster. And the kobolds was a, uh, sort of a close call. Oh, yeah, that's right. Didn't they stab Gwini in the gut? <laughs> 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 We're lucky shit that didn't get infected. <laughs> all I was trying to do was give him a hug to prove I was nice. Maybe we approach with caution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can't forget that dragon, too, that just completely ate the captain. Didn't she boon us? She killed the captain, sure. But if by booning us you mean choosing not to murder us on sight, uh, that's kind of a boon. I guess for a, a gigantic, horrible, evil monster, I suppose so. A bit serendipitous, if you will. I that is strange. You know what I wish? I wish I had a three pack of cookies and a large sandwich. <laughs> oh, that sounds delightful. <laughs> That was oddly specific. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go. All right. I'll flip around and I'll start. You uh, journey walking. up the f- mountain, and it's <clears throat> very much winter. Uh, it is still extremely cold, though the the sky is clear and there is no snow. There's a, a, a one or two inches from the uh, of, of of snow still untreaded, um, making your way up this mountain uh, that you remember from the storm that probably that passed uh, during your fight with the uh, forest spirit, uh, for lack of a better word. And uh, you start to you reach you reach after I'd say uh, another hour of walking that you reach the first torch, and it's adjacent to a large 
stone in the ground, a huge, uh, a clearly shaped stone. And you continue to make your way up the path and to the next uh, torch. This one makes forms an arch, even. Uh, clearly two massive stones with a large uh, uh, stone placed atop it. Uh, you can walk around a it. Hinge. Or, a, a hinge. A um, hinge, which apparently is a misnomer, weirdly, but it's, yeah, uh, yeah. it's still a hinge. Yeah, if you're picturing hinge, you're getting exactly what mm. I'm laying down. Mm. And Stonehenge. Uh, a stone hinge, yes. Six stone things in a giant circle. Well, that's, that's that's uh, this is just a, a milestone, seemingly marking the way. So this it's, is it's an, a, a, an arch hinge. here, mm. uh, and in, there's also um, uh, uh, trilithon is another word that you could use or obelisk, mm -hmm. um, uh, and these do have uh, uh, what appear to be runic uh, markings uh, carved directly into them. Uh, but unlike the cairns that you saw on uh, your journey so far, um, these are painted. They have uh, 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 brilliant colors on their faces, uh, uh, different markings in, in purples and greens and blues. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's actually um, uh, uh, quite attractive uh, compared to the gray. Does it resemble the uh, site of Gobekli Tepe or Karahan Tepe? Oh. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> that is a paint water. Yeah, that was my question. Uh, make a... Uh, uh, Investigation check if you were interested in, in perceiving Please. the, uh, the we should both. age of the paint. Because I don't know anything about history. Oh, well, apparently I'm actually very historical. Ooh, <laughs> investigation, you say? Uh, oh, shit. Come on, skills. Uh, wow, I'm actually not proficient in investigation, so I got a dirty 20. Dirty 20? Plus one. I got a natural 21. Wow. Very nice. I'm also not proficient. Was that a natural 20 plus one? Yeah. Oh, natural okay. 20 oh you plus rolled one. one more than me. Look at you go. Looking at the surface of this, um, uh, you have a sense that it is not freshly painted in the sense that it was painted in the last week or so, but uh, that it hasn't been worn by weather and time. It feels, it feels new to you, um, but it knew the same way that a freshly painted house would in its first year or five years, as opposed to... Um, you know, uh, an, an obelisk that stood the, the test of time on a mountain for centuries or decades. Mm -hmm. Roger. So nothing like Gobekli Tepe or Kara. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think Queenie's working on her abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it at the end of the campaign. <laughs> You continue to ascend up the mountain, and uh, you're following these milestones now. These trilithons, these stones, these cairns, these obelisks, these hinges. Monoliths. These Monoliths. These, Obelisks. Uh, there's no temple, I would say. They're just... No, tepes. Oh, tepes? Yeah, yeah like Gobekli Tepe or Karam oh. Tepe. Oh, Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> you continue to make your way up the path, and uh, it, not an hour goes by before you reach uh, a flat... Um, uh, a flat plateau step no, outcropping. Plateau. plateau outcropping is good. A mesa. Uh, mesa. The, mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. That's Thank you for your suggestion, right. but no. <laughs> mesa means table. Time to bring a little justice to the Moo Mesa. <laughs> and uh, it's here, um, and it's and it's still quite dim. Uh, uh, I want to reemphasize how cold and how. Um, uh, diminished the light is. It's almost as if the sun hasn't risen at all. Uh, at this altitude, you can actually see it just cresting the horizon. Even though it's starting to feel more and more like morning, it's hanging there low and uh, hugging the, the, the tree line, um, the many thousands of feet that you've come. Uh, you, you are higher up in the air. The elevation is getting... Um, is actually dropping the temperature as you are ascending. It's probably negative 40 or 45 degrees. But Scrim and I, we don't... You feel quite comfortable. Yeah, we're... And I got a coat and some nice boots. Yeah, you feel quite comfortable. I'm some poor dead elves. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> it's on this outcropping. Oh, and we're Wendigookers. Uh, <laughs> it's on this outcropping that details, you can see details. underneath the um, uh, dusting of snow uh, a tremendous circle of stones 
Mm. A, 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 this this circle is uh, perhaps um, seventy feet across uh, from from each uh, side to the to the other, um, and uh, it is. Um, uh, shielded a little bit from the elements. As you look up, you can see the tall, tall side of this mountain, almost all the way up to the tip, it seems, is uh, looming over, uh, shading this um, great circle. What are you all doing? Do we see the source of the lights? There are torches that have been placed around uh, the path that you've made your way up. Um, just one uh, uh, mostly illuminating these painted um, uh, monoliths, but uh, there does not seem to be much illumination here against the circle, no. There's, there are no fires, there's no torches in the immediate uh, vicinity or along the perimeter. Well, we made our way up to this flat mesa. I don't think this is quite the mesa. I can't believe you even suggested this was a mesa. <laughs> Have you ever seen a mesa before? I haven't <laughs> seen a mesa. What's a mesa? I'm from Yona. I've seen plenty of mesas. Oh. Then you would know this is a mountain and not a mesa. Yeah, Scrim doesn't say any of that. That would be rude. <laughs> <laughs> Scrim says in third in third person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, can- we followed the lights. I want to. Can I like no. walk up to one of the monoliths mm-hmm. and like just sort of we'll see if there's first. anything written on it or like anything signposty? The um, circle of stones, uh, this great seventy foot wide stone circle. Um, they're not as large as the giant stones that were. Uh, uh, it seemed to literally be milestones making your way up the path. These are are um, perhaps the height of scrim, uh, and they look almost oh. more like tombstones, like little teeth uh, uh, jutting out. Oh, so they're like six two. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> they're huge. She's got a foot and a half. Six to three feet wide. Uh, and they're spaced very, very evenly apart. Uh, uh, almost mathematically, so specific. So with they're, great like, specificity. they're like two feet long, one foot wide. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, they all, and as you observe, you see each one of them has tiny faces on them. Um, <laughs> none of us even bothered to ask. Don't do that face, please. <laughs> So uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel it in my gooeys. <laughs> Scream is grabbed by the gooeys. I'm just saying you feel it in your gooch. <laughs> no, no, that's a different, that's a different face that does. Um, not a single Scrim's one of us even bothered to ask if we can read the signposts. Do, 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 does any of this writing look like legible? It, it's identical to the uh, runic language that the Cairns were marked with. Um, you can tell if from Ooh, which was draconic. I was gonna say that's ancient right. Draconic. Okay, which was ancient draconic. So I definitely can't read it. But I would, but would I be able to say, see that it looks similar? I'm to, on my way. I think that you would be able to make that deduction. Um, recognition. Exactly, exactly. You've seen you've seen runes made with these marks uh, so uh, frequently on your journey at this point that seeing these again doesn't surprise you. They seem to be of the same culture. Got it. I say nothing. I can't even think about food. <clears throat> I, I walk up with Yornir. Could you take a look, see if you can make sense of what these are saying? Yes, I could. It's fresher as well than we've seen before, not weathered by time. This has been upkept in at least the last year or two. It looks, it looks newly made, as you say, and um, you can um, brush away some of the snow. Uh, both of you make a perception check as you enter, enter the stone circle. I want to say that kind of got stuck by your book, but it did, hey, you know, I, you know, what am I doing? Am I you know, it got stuck by my book. Let's keep the book away from the yeah. end of the thing, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Bad luck. Plus <laughs> eight is what? Holy uh, shit. 16 from me. 21, thank you. Uh, 16, really uh, 21. Uh, the two of you, um, you can hear the crunching of your footfalls as you make your way into the stone circle um, on the, the surface of this thin layer of snow. And looking down, uh, you can see that um, it's not a perfectly flat stone circle. Uh, there are just tiny ridges or grooves creating something like a pattern, uh, as if uh, the face of this stone circle has something beneath you, in addition to the many runes of the, the circle. The hell? And, and, and counting them, 
there are dozens of these runes. Uh, a dozen, not dozens on each, but one rune per stone. Dozens of these stones, each one of them uh, equal, equally spaced apart uh, from the center out uh, in, a, in a line. Equidistant. Thank you. you I like that word. That's good. Mesa. Uh, Mesa distant. That's, <laughs> is, I believe, <laughs> the term. <laughs> Man, I hate you guys. <laughs> do do you, any of the symbols, do I like pick up make anything? A, make recognize? an intelligence check. <laughs> Mesa distant. <laughs> Ooh, oh. oh. Straight intelligence would mm-hmm. be a ten. You just make the PC that I had set in mind because these runes uh, match draconic symbols very closely, much more closely than um, uh, some of the directional uh, or, or navigational runes that you had been confronted with on the cairns in your long journey north to this mountain. Uh, these match um, symbols you would see on a calendar. Yo, Rich, you give me that hairbrush that you stole and brought upstairs. A calendar? It's like some sort of giant time-telling device. Oh. Not like a sundial, but like almost like a yearly. Like it's a fucking calendar. It's an ancient calendar. Whoa. Your name seems to be some ancient time-telling device. <laughs> <laughs> Not like a calendar, but like a ancient calendar. Oh. I'm glad you clarified. That is totally different. <laughs> I was almost totally misdirected. Don't think that it's the talk. new calendar. I'm just going to uh, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is ancient draconic calendar. Classic. Uh, you want to know what's the most ancient of all calendars? Yes. The stars. Wow. That just seems legitimate. What's legitimate? <laughs> The, the the stars of the oldest calendar. Did you mean legitimate? What? Legitimate. Oh, I think I have some legitimate in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here we go, Scrim. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very minty. Mm. Ooh, oh, it's deliciously fresh. It's like a dessert as her after uh, <laughs> after the ancient estuary and mustard. A little and as your after legitimate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this so this is all. I mean, this is quite a lot of effort to build just for a calendar. Is there any kind of religious context that you know of? Well, I can't be sure. It, it, these seem to represent days, months, maybe. There's something... That's generally what a calendar does. Thank you for that wise insight. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> there seems to be something on the the ground beneath us. Maybe if we clear, it's snow covered. It is uh, snow covered. Yes. Does that look like it would be a lot of work? It's a uh, seventy foot wide uh, stone circle. So if you can imagine, like how long it would take to clear, like. Let, a basketball. Whoa, player. whoa, 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 Taishan. There is no weedy clearing this out. You must be kidding. Not on an empty stomach. I'm starving. Well, perhaps we could clean off some of it, and if we feel like it's informative, we can keep going. I will help yes. you clear I'm, some of it. Okay. I'll, I'll help you too. Excellent. I'm going to open my honey pot, and my swarm of bees has gotten much bigger. And I'm going to oh, I'm going to yeah, talk to them. All right. All right, babies, I'm gonna need you to help clear this snow. You know what to do. Hop to it. And my bees are gonna <laughs> they, um, uh, basically, form the shape of a shovel. Yeah, they, they form a uh, shape of a, a curved <laughs> shovel uh, and uh, it, it just scoop along and they are pushing the snow like a, uh, like a um, wow, I'm out of language tonight. Uh, What's the snow plow? Snow plow. So, yeah, Thank they you. can Sweet they Christmas. can carry up to two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> yeah, Sweet Sweet shit, that's so a I lot just of snow. I just want to have How them two hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, you and so I just want to have them scoop it up and toss it, scoop yeah. it up and toss it. You're wow. able to clear the area uh, without uh, Taishan or Yornir's help very quickly, and <laughs> uh, the three of you, or the five of you, all staring down, uh, you can see that um, these have uh, there's 
these beautiful um, runic lines. Uh, you know how in um, uh, some art, the the knotting will will the lines will appear to go underneath and then back wrapping around and, and create these sort of elaborate patterns. Yeah, like Celtic knots. Like whatever. Celtic knots, yeah. exactly right. Um, this is the case here, and there are twelve clean wedges uh, uh, that connect to each of four of these. Um, of these little stones, a uh, very much a calendar. This it's clearly uh, mm. twelve wedges for the months, four weeks for each uh, for each stone, four stones. And uh, looking down, uh, you can see that they uh, correspond with the cardinal directions. Midwinter stone is directly pointing at the sun right now. It's in alignment. <clears throat> well. I guess I didn't need you or you to help with the snow. That was very impressive. Yeah, don't thank me. Thank the bees. Well, thank you, bees. Oh, he thanks the bees. You, you see as they shape a thumbs up. <laughs> They're the bees' knees. <laughs> I'm so hungry. They, they, form, they form the image of a, of a lady doing the Charleston, and then they go back in. <laughs> <laughs> into my honey bun. <laughs> are, the, are the bees bigger now because of this, of your stone? Yeah. Well, it's a bigger swarm, or they are. There, it's a bigger. Bigger. Each bee has gotten a little chunkier. Okay. Is it because of your? Um, is it because of your power stone? Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. Did yeah, they cool. get also get even cuter? They did. Whoa. They got even cuter. That's amazing. They're, they're so even cute. cuter, a little bit chunkier, a little bit fuzzier, oh, and there are more of them. God, it's so. And good. because I've just remembered that she exists, uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Daisy's standing there and she's gesturing, trying oh. to convey something. Uh, a few moments later of understanding, clarifying questions, uh, you get the sense that she's seen this before where she's from she's looking down and she's uh, this looks very different but uh, a wheel like this uh, is a wheel of years this is for tracking time it's a calendar she's confirming what you are all seeing yeah, I mean your name never stops talking about the dates and the stars and the sun and the, the, the seasons yes. I mean clearly it, this is important to these people as well mm. is there any kind of mystical or magical importance of the one that you are aware of not to my knowledge. Uh, it, it was um, in a uh, great building, uh, the floor of a building, and she starts to make more and more gestures, but you lose the plot. It's, what she's explaining seems too complex. So you'd have mm. to take 15 minutes or half an hour to really like play the 20 questions you would need to get there. Mm. Ah. I mean, it would make sense they'd have something like this in a perilous place like this. I mean, we, we use a calendar back where I'm from, because anytime you're tending to to any any kind of agriculture you need to know what kind of weather you're gonna get what kind of time of year it's gonna be what you can grow it's all all related to the time and the movement of the sun and the moon it is the, the, the calendar obviously from where I'm from and with my order especially it is not too dissimilar what they've done this just feels more informative and less holy, if that makes sense. Is it because we're in a circle? Well, yes, we we have we have monuments and we erect them in different positions and uh, based on the rotation of the sun and. No, I just meant because the whole is a circle. The what? You said this feels more holy, and I said, is it because we're in a circle? Oh, I see. And you started to explain something that was out of context of what I was asking. It's a play on words. No, I just meant it literally. Is it because we're in a circle? No. All right, then. It seems like this is used for for tracking, but I'm not getting a sense of a ritual purpose to it. Unless I do get a ritual purpose to it. Make a perception check, all of you, actually. Hmm. While he's rolling, I'd also like to ask a question. Go you ahead. Said, once cleared, you said that there was a stone pointing to a certain section or quadrant hmm. that delineated, denoted the... Perception, you say? What mm -hmm. he thought of, of the day is what the, the midwinter... The midwinter stone, which would be in um, the month of... Thank I have you. it here. Uh, the 12th month. 
right? Mm -hmm. So you're you're it's the middle of the twelfth month, and you are looking down the wedge of the of the line, and you can see that it corresponds with a one of these small stones at the perimeter. So my question is, looking at this whole thing, does it look like this thing that's pointing to it? The whole thing physically moves. Oh no, 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 no! It's fixed. That's confusing. How does it work? <laughs> Stonehenge works the way that I just described. This, this circle. Oh, this is Earth. Okay. It, it works the same way a sundial. Why would you works. apply normal physics? Now, a sundial is stationary, but you see so the it's, So we're based literally just looking shadow. at shadow. Well, it's in this case, it's where the sun is positioned. Because it's very early in the day. Because the way. If we're if this were Earth, the way that you would <laughs> that the seasons change, the sun changes positions and sets in different places. Every every day it moves just a little bit. So we're looking at a shadow, like it's casting a shadow to point at. So like I'm I'm trying to like what is actually the temple of the sun. Let me let me, let me draw a little. Yeah, here, let me draw. Oh, here, here's yeah. here's an example: the temple of the sun in um in Mexico, um during the during the yeah, I guess it would be winter because it's it's based on the sun. When it hits a certain spot, the way that the light is cast down the um, the steps of the pyramid, it makes it look like there's a snake Interesting. running down the pyramid. So it's mm. it's similar to that in the sense that sure. we're looking at the sun through probably like a little hole. All right, here's, here's That's, the circle. Um, I'm just asking There are because... 48 stones yep. all around the perimeter. Sure. Right? 48? Forty-eight. Of how many stones? And there are twelve wedges, right? That correspond like this. Now, if this is the side of the mountain, then you can see the horizon is out here, and the sun is doing its sunny thing, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. This stone was constructed in such a way that the midwinter stone aligns with the sun perfectly on this oh. day. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh. So we're able. So basically, you could stand in the middle, and you could like line up. Right. The celestial yeah, bodies. Yeah, 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 if it yeah. were the autumnal equinox, okay. it would be over there and not perfectly aligned. That answers with my question. How do we that, know it's the midwinter stone? I, yeah, because yeah. I, I understand how a sundial because works. Because we know today is midwinter. I was just you, confused that it was low light, and I wasn't sure what we were actually physically yeah, looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. No, 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 it's all good. So you you would actually use it with the heavens, essentially. It, the it's, the in, sun, it's yeah. in sync with the yeah. stars. Yeah. It's in sync yeah. with the sun. It's yeah, in yeah, sync yeah. with the movement of, of yeah, all of this. And the deduction that you've all made that it's the midwinter stone is because of Taishan's realization that each mm. of the runes on each of the weeks mm. is is like a name for the week almost. But sure. this is the midwinter stone. Got it. All right. Scrim says nothing. My question has been answered. Well, this is dissimilar right? in my moods. We call them weirding stones, mm. which we meet here, or we meet in similar uh, circles of stones on the holiest holidays. And midwinter is the holiest uh, for my order. We meet at the circle of the mammoth, and we feast and we conduct our rituals and we read the runes and. We Did you to... say on um, midwinter is the circle of the mammoth? Yes. All right, mammoth's different than a rhino. Yes. All right, cool. It is the northmost circle in Mammut. It's big and hairy. So my pilgrimage every winter would be to arrive at the circle of the mammoth, meet the fellow uh, shaman of my order. Perhaps there is something similar that I could use, and perhaps I can consult the runes and just see if I can get a sense of of anything. Maybe you made a perception check, didn't you? I did. I did. Uh, we all did. Oh, yeah, we all yeah. did. Uh, 21. 21? Uh, 23. 23? 18. 18? 22. 22. 19. You, you spent enough time now um, that anyone with a 20 or higher... <laughs> Is <laughs> <Rip>. <laughs> 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 
It's because we died. <laughs> Following the line. There's no food around. Because we're windy okers. Looking at the beautiful carved grooves as they as they uh, almost tell the story of the year in front of you. And in the center, in blotches elsewhere, darker patches. Darker patches that indicate that this is perhaps a ritual stone as well. One where there might be sacrifices. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh, this is... <clears throat> there was blood. What? You mean all that brown stuff? It is very faint, but this is evidence of ritual sacrifice. We do the same. Uh, yeah, like, like, are they sacrificing humanoids or animals? No, no, no not humanoids. We uh. Sacrifice... Whew. I'll give offerings to the gods, animals, plants. Well, if they're sacrificing animals, that means there has to be food around. Great thought, been, Mr. Sabascon. This is, been, this is but recent. You're assuming that just because your nearest practice is to sacrifice animals, that theirs is <gasps> too. This is true. Well, I would like to assume that, yes. Yes, absolutely. That's much better than them sacrificing small goblins. And I sacrifice <laughs> to the old faith. Their religion, or whatever they're sacrificing to, is totally different. Is there religious significance of these shamanistic type things to sacrifice little goblins and otherwise? Is there? I mean, it really depends on where you're from. What do you mean? <clears throat> do we have any reason to believe that is the blood of some poor feller? Well, I'll so, see if I can take a look at it. Instead of a goat. See if I can see if it's animal blood or humanoid blood, and I'd try and like I'd like to try to use my uh, hunting abilities to see if I could tell the difference. Bada bing. So yes, I would like to look at where it looks like the sacrifices happened and check to see if I can see any fur remnants that are stuck into the mm, stone clever. or anything that would um, chips of bone or anything like that that could help me determine uh, whether it was humanoid or bestial. Survival. Gotta love a survival roll. <laughs> 26. 26? Woo! Jesus. It's no joke. This is my forte. <laughs> this is why I always it's have a farmer's almanac on me. <laughs> if anyone would like to see. It's been worth carrying around up. this 40 pound book. <laughs> <laughs> farmer's almanac. It's and got a cosmetic. Yeah. It's got a whole <laughs> chapter that's just paw, paw shapes. <laughs> yeah. 26 is strong. So you uh, start to circle and making your way out and sort of in and then looking at it from different angles. It's still difficult to see in the light. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite medium, as I said, dim. But you do spy something when you turn a certain angle and the light hits it just the right way. And you look down, you pick it up. Silver. Hmm. Silver shard. Broken. It looks like a tiny scale. Oh, no! <laughs> I have scales. What? What is it? What do you find? Is it animals? I need you to calm down. I have a fear it might be dragonborn. Oh! Holy! Oh, Does this no. scale look familiar to you? It looks, I would say, I would assume that it looks too small to be dragon. It does look too small to be dragon. You've seen a dragon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let me let me pull out my farmer's almanac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Farmer Maggot says the crops will be good this year. <laughs> Why is his name always Maggot? <laughs> this is a huge family. He's got cousins all over the world. <laughs> Those damn farmers. Um, you do make the comparison, uh, and you hold the, yeah. the, the scale up against uh, Taishen's golden scales, mm -hmm. his dragonborn uh, skin being what it is. And this appears to be smaller. <sighs> well, that was going to be my next fear. There are some groups, ancient, that would prefer the sacrifice of children to adults, believing that it was... Uh significantly more honorable to their deities the innocent life you know these were 
children dragonborn? Potentially. Or kobolds. Or kobolds. Oh, well, it's kobolds. Okay, we need to apologize. Anyways, it's, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Look. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter, Ashi. Yeah, you're near. Oh, no, this is very interesting. So they are clearly sacrificing humanoids. Clearly. I mean, but, 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 but who? I mean, we know that, that, that there must be some gathering of them. There's all those different clans and all those different factions. Are they just sacrificing themselves? Whatever it's, the answer is. It's we, a possibility, yeah. We need to be on high alert. The torches didn't light themselves coming up here. And if what Yornir oh, says shit, is that's true. That's true, yeah. If he makes, I forgot about those torches. If he makes journeys on the on the midwinter to come here, that's now. Well, well not here. He goes somewhere else. Well, but someone may have journeyed here. Yeah. That's why the path was lit. Someone could be here now, watching us. This feels. This is fate. This feels intentional. Are we being led here as sacrifices? Oh, I don't like that sound of that at all. Well. Wait. It looks like they're sacrificing Dragonborn, so oh. we're all fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're not gonna let anything happen to you, all right? Don't go more than ten feet away from. Yeah, any you of stay us, right next to us, Mister Fire Blossom. That sounds good. What What I do like the sound of is you know, you, you keep saying that this is like a special day for you. You gotta have some extra juice in the tank, right? A little extra power. Maybe there's something here that's worth whatever you were saying communing with, right? Reach out! I will try to reach into the weird, and given that the sun is in alignment with whatever circle we are in, and it is the holiest holiday, we shall see. Alright, I'm gonna let you do your thing, and I'm gonna stand way over there outside of the ring, but but it's just to keep an eye out, just to make sure that you're alright while you're doing your thing. It's you, certainly not you because I'm worried be, you got burst into flames. You're really, you wanna be really far away from us in case there are people lurking out there ready to sacrifice you to some kind of deity? I don't wanna be inside this ring when he does whatever he wants to do. I'd rather keep a lookout at the very least. Alright, Scrum. So... I would like to, I will walk to the center of the circle and kind of clear this, oh, like it's all the snow's cleared. And I will Please. kneel down and I will pull out my um, my leather pouch of probably seal hide uh, full of these uh, runes that I have, uh, what's the word? Not ripped. Wrist. Wrist. Uh, and you wrist the rune. I would like to try to peer into the weird and read the runes in a similar way, not through augury, but I've done it once before. Where I pull them and, and if you can give me whatever you want. God, that was so oh, good last time. Facing, yeah. the, facing the cliff or facing the sun? Uh, the sun. Okay. The sun. And I would like to go the way we entered the circle, up the path, and like look back down it and keep an eye out to make sure nothing's coming up behind us. Okay, make a perception check. And, and that we'll can, resolve it. Yeah, when, no, I just want to make sure my buddy here. Is, here but you know, I'm a big augury fan, so let's okay. augury. Or me either. Oh, that's terrible. Um, We're gonna and so if you wanted to do an augury form factor, that's fine. But like, however you want, like whatever information you would want to give me, try to peer into what I believe the weird meaning, like, you know, my take on chi or just the energy of the universe and, and you know, time and all that. I'll connect it to whatever I feel like connecting to. <laughs> oh, got him. Uh, I'm going to re- uh, Do you want to turn on the camera and like reveal the Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. It. You can put it in the circle. Oh, pretty ah. yeah, I'll put it in the middle of the circle. Okay. So thank for, you to Kima for these amazing. Thank you, Kima. Yeah, this so is for, for so context, cool. last time he did this, oh, uh, we got like Derek gave us like uh, like you know some cryptic like one-liners that were not from Shar, believe it or not, and uh, <laughs> they became very. At the time, we had no idea what it meant, but it became very pertinent several sessions later. It, so was, it was. I was perfect. very impressed that he like kept like, it incredibly on cryptic, the spot, but it was perfect. It was the perfect level of like yep. teasers and he, pleasers. I mean, I had always planned that there was going to be a fucking metal horse metal man show up, and then I get tool horse man? It was literally, <laughs> yeah. literally fake. Yeah. It was literally fake. So let's see what we get this time. Okay. So I think last time I pulled three, so we'll just do three again. And yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, just, if the rest of you want to just reflect on the past year, think about the changing of the seasons days no longer getting shorter, but now getting longer. Summer is now close. 
or closer than in every day, summer will be closer. So think of the renewal that will come with this, and the cycle begins again. While he's going through his uh, uh, ritual, just after these words, uh, he speaks these words, um, uh, wind uh, rustling all around you. You're outside of the circle, keeping an eye down the mountain. Where are the three of you? Uh, I would be in the circle. I'd be staying close to everybody. Okay. Like in the circle near near your near. I'd be making sure that I don't leave Taishan's side. Okay. So basically no. wherever wherever <laughs> wherever he's going to go, I'm gonna go. Okay. So I would be here and I would be taking very seriously, because obviously uh Barnabas is superstitious. Mm-hmm. And I've heard of sacrificing, but not to like the primal spirits, so like blood gods deep in the jungle somewhere, right? So this is all new. In a world filled of fantasy magic, are you, aren't you just stitious at that point? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, and I think I would probably be walking in circles around the the hinge and um, just keeping my eye out for any kind of movement or anything So you're going patrolling. On. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you need me to roll for that. We'll resolve that after we find out what our runes are. So my right eye will glow again with a bright, uh, frosty blue magic. And I will pull the first rune. That is... Anticlimactic. That's literally a rune? Wild. (laughs) Probability altering missiles. <laughs> Your request for no MSG has been denied. <laughs> MSG's king of flavor. <laughs> Puff the magic dragon? What are you doing here? It's like that time my fortune cookie said, give it up, you loser. <laughs> Signs point to yes. <laughs> Holy shit. It knows me so well. Ah, oh, Mace. Uh, this is Urus. It means Aurok or strength. Or a big ball. Think of a big ball or strength. Hmm. We strength. That's a good sign, right? Unless that uh, strength is turned against us. If it portends an enemy. Uh, this is I was. This is the yew tree, the tree of life. The tree that began all life, according to the old faith. This tree is very relevant for mid, for midwinter. <gasps> what? Life or just tree of life? Uh, it's the yew tree or the tree of life. Which yeah, could be life in general, right? but like literally you, like the like Y E W, Y E W, the type of Y E W. Okay, yes, it's you tree, like Yes, like yourself. Yes, yeah. like yourself. Yep. And finally, oh, that's oh, that's good, huh? Now all these sound too good to be true. Dagas, which is day or dawn, and I will. And if you want me to pull one more to see what it is, if it helps your story, just let me know. But a strong, a strong life tree. Uh, Dawn, that all sounds quite nice. Perhaps. Maybe it means we're supposed to sacrifice Tashi to be able to oh. have a good life. <laughs> it can't mean that, can it? Well, to be fair, you didn't have the same color scales. Oh, so you think it won't work? I don't know. Well. Just focusing, peering. I know you have to help. What did Mr. Stavisconch do? Rage. (laughs) Rage. (laughs) What are you doing? We're helping Yornir reach into the into the weird. Lend him your strength. And join us. (laughs) Weird. (laughs) I am reflecting. Um, You know what? I'll actually say something. I'll, I'll take uh, Mr. Yornir's uh, thoughts here and the changing of the seasons. Are you trying to decipher his runes for him? No, I'm not. I'm trying to, to discuss the question that oh. he asked us. Is well, where I think he's channeling his... Year. Oh. Think about the past year and the renewal and the change of the seasons is quite like the, the change of the, the tides, the sea, where it's not any kind of massive 
change one way or the other, but slow, gradual, consistent, and certain change. Just Yarnia, like the seasons. You don't hear any of this chatter. You have gone into your trance. You are divining, speaking to the lands now, speaking, asking the triad, using the old ways to see if you can perceive what you need to to see victory this day see to to honor the midwinter to uh uh do what you need to do set the 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 course of the next year in motion uh to to see the change in the seasons and 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 understand and embrace the nature and the natural world as as much as you can the image of the sun appears in your mind and it doesn't set but instead starts to turn from its yellowy glow to a orange a burnt umber a red shrinking smaller and smaller like an ember until darkness and against an impossible midnight sky you see a single sprout emerge from the soil from earth it's a symbol and it begins to grow you feel very much it is a a a, a metaphor for life for for thing something that needs to survive something that is surviving something that is alive and it emerges and becomes this beautiful twisted gorgeous tree with fruiting uh uh uh, 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 uh fruits of all kinds so a, a small small leaves spreading out from it it doesn't look like a yew tree to you but it does feel like a a, a tree of reverence a, a sacred tree to you and as soon as it reaches its maturity behind it's almost blinding the sun explodes back into the sky and you can see the shadow of its many boughs and its twigs and its branches spray out in all directions it's blinding and it fills you with a tremendous amount of hope but you realize that to see this vision will take great strength and blinking, you now realize that you are staring down at the three runes that you've cast. You hadn't even read them until you are, are coming back into the mortal plane, back into your body, back into reality. But you see that that is the story that these runes tell. And then they begin to grow dark. And you realize for a moment, no one's... No, you can hear the chatter of Taishan and Barnabos. Why, why is it getting dark? It's dark only for a moment because it's a shadow. A shadow of something slamming down in front of you, just at the center of the circle. Splat! All of you hear the cracking of bones as a young silver bo- dragonborn child crashes from the cliff top a thousand feet ahead at the f- feet, crushing the runes in front of Yornir, splattering against the, the wheel of years. Oh. So we're like covered in oh, we, oh. Yeah, I would immediately Viscera. come running over oh. if I heard that happen. You hear this disgusting crunch, all of you, and yes, you are covered in gore. You can see uh, uh, fl- uh, flecks of blood uh, uh, sprayed out like a uh, uh, flicking paintbrush in all directions, uh, completely smearing uh, this blood-touched stone. Oh my god, what happened? Oh. Uh, what, uh, what is that? Uh, what, what is all over you? I think gods. What is that? I want to look up. I want to see what I can see. You look up, and it's too far. Uh, yeah. it, you you are a thousand feet down. Even with a natural twenty and a tremendous perception bonus, you don't see a, a face or a head or or anything looking down. It is a tremendous fall, and it is of course quite dim. Uh, the three of you are are all looking down, and I need the those who are in the circle and close to make a perception check. I am assuming you are both um, running in, and yeah, uh, I would be running. I was not close enough to. 21. 21? 19. 19. 
in these few seconds that you guys have uh, uh, to, to, to look down, to understand, what's, to comprehend what has just happened, <laughs> you hear the faintest whimper. What are you all doing? I would immediately run up and, and try and... Does it still look like a, like a child? Or is it like it a- looks like a child uh, covered in a blue robe. Uh, he seems to be um, almost frosty. Uh, uh, as if, as if uh, a um, uh, the surface of a frozen lake clings to uh, his silver scales uh, against him, but uh, terrible contrast against the um, dark red that is now pooling uh, against this and filling the grooves of this uh, knotted surface. Oh no, no! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, what? What happened? I would I would try and cast uh, to cure cure wounds. I think to try and heal him. Okay, you reach down and help. you realize you have almost no time to execute this. It will take a medicine check for the spell to be successfully applied before he passes. Oh God! That looks pretty good. Pretty Let's twist of dread that. <gasps> I wish I had that for no. fun box. Okay, oh, uh, it got better. It got better. It's better. Oh. Uh, the twist of dread. Do you take the second roll or do you take the worst of the two rolls? Oh, it's, worst. It's like this. Oh, probably. Yeah. So you just oh, okay. Yeah. Keep the All right. So it would be. There's only one difference. It would be a 16. 16. You reach forward and you are about to unleash your magical energy, but by the time you touch his chest, you realize that this this creature is gone. This child has passed in the moment that this death rattle escaped its lungs. Huh. Oh. What? I, 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 I was gone for a couple minutes. What happened? Did you do that, Yornir? Yornir. I don't believe so. No, this is not. I he, saw an, uh, an image of hope in the weird. I peered, and I was able to. I was able to go into a trance, and I saw a great. I saw a sun go black, but then I saw a tree of life erupt and bring the sun back. It will be difficult, a challenge, but we need the strength to persevere. This was the vision I received from the runes. We, 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 should, we shouldn't be in here. We gotta, we gotta get away from this thing. I, I don't want to stand in here anymore. Young lady, please avert your eyes. You should not be saying this. This, we're, gonna, we're all gonna need professional help after this. I say that to Daisy. We should. Ah, thank you. <clears throat> we should get his body out of, out of this thing. We shouldn't leave it here. I can take it. I'll carry him. I figured you might want to. If you're feeling strong enough, uh, Mr. Fire Blossom. You already uh, your hand is already on him, so it feels natural enough to get under him. Uh, you can still feel the warmth in the body uh, uh, underneath you, uh, and you, you you're able to pick him up. Is is uh, just as you are starting to shuffle on the wind. All five of you can hear very faintly. Mm-hmm. Where is that coming from? It's probably a ritual mm. from on top of the mountain. It's getting louder now. It okay. sounds like it's approaching. This uh, rhythmic chanting and humming. Shit. Can we get a sense of if it's coming from top down or make a perception up? check? Bottom up. We gotta get out of here. We can't stay here. I think we should clean up those of us who need to. 13? With a 13, you realize that this sound, in order for you to hear it in, uh, on such a windy mountaintop, must actually be quite close. And sure enough, as you turn to uh, in the direction of what you can get a sense of the, the, the sound is coming from, a procession of robed silver dragonborn 
similarly covered in blue start to make their way down this curved path that would lead up to the top of the mountain. They are walking in, in, in unison, um, and you can see their, their metallic faces all uh, solemnly humming together, chanting, uh, uh, clearly, clearly making their way down for whatever the next step of this is. Oh, no, 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 this is not good. They are not going to be happy to see that you've picked up the, the, the kid. We, we can't be here. They're, they're going to lose their minds. They just killed a child. I, I understand, but there's a lot more of them than there are of us. And we are severely outmatched and we're undersupplied, and I don't know what they're going to do. The, it's going to be very unpredictable. What choice do we have? Fate led us here. I, I suggest we accept our fate and we confront them. Oh, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I didn't ask for any of this. I would wager that I'm a lot better at wielding an anchor than they are. Uh, all right. <laughs> if that's the decision we're making, then I'm staying with you. I'm not going to run away now. Oh, gods, what are we doing? Hey, at least we get to kill something a little less scary than horrible elder abominations. The Okay. okay. Um... Procession stops, and they clearly have now spied the five of you. And uh, the um, first dragonborn uh, of the of the many lines. There's uh, perhaps um, uh, ten or, or ten or so of these of these dragonborn, um, all wearing uh, these light blue. Um, sort of tied at the neck, uh, beautiful um, robes, uh, and um, again just like the boy's body uh it seems to be like frosted with highlights that, that ripple almost and and change as they move and uh the first one steps forward friends i have my anchor like completely what? gripped like white knuckled what? what is going on here friends what? do not here. misunderstand you look very confused i'm sure that you feel this way but hear, hear us out. And another, another one steps forward. Y- this is necessary. You have to understand, please. Hear you out. Necessary. This is a, this is a dead child. It is There's a, no defense for this. It is a dead child, yes. But it is our way. You, if you will join us, we will show you. We will be able to make this day matter. Jo- join you? Jo- what if we end up like the kid? Y- you think we're just going to blindly follow you and trust you after that? You... You do not know our traditions. We're, we will show you our ways. We will show you how to... How to... Make winter right. I'm just going to look to your near. What is the nature of this ritual? What is the purpose of such a sacrifice? It is both a symbol and magic. It is how we will ask the sun to return. The sun to return. Will the sun disappear? If we fail today on midwinter, we... I'm going into Lethica. I don't know, I don't know why. Works. It works, yeah. <laughs> if we fail, then we... We will not see spring. Um... Presumably, I would know of cultures in the moot that do similar things where they sacrifice their own in some way for purposes. It's probably nothing it's probably not a shock to me that a group of humanoids would do this. Would, would you agree? I would absolutely agree. I don't know if your circle would have been as violent and no, brutal as this. My circle certainly wouldn't, but I like but, a, a race of humans or whatever, or like a culture and doing, certainly them believing that they're doing the right thing right. is a possibility. If you believe that this is that your work, if you do not do this, that the sun will be gone forever. This is not the first time. Was this done willingly? Did he make this choice for himself? Or was it forced upon him? He was not pushed. He walked willingly off the cliff face. 
Willingly, he's he's a child. He couldn't have made that choice. He shouldn't have made that choice. He shouldn't have had to, but he did. It is very hard. If I could make the choice myself, I would. But I have no innocence. It is, is it his blood that is holy? What is the reagent that is used in this way? What was his name? Notice. Let's call him Notice. He is a sweet boy. Was. He... We'll make you smile again, I promise. You say that like his life did not end here today. But the viscera upon my body would disagree. On any of the other many days of the year, you would be right. But on this day, He will be reborn. And what sort of blood god do you worship? We worship the lands. We worship the sun in the sky. We worship the Durkara herself. Oh, this is way too much for me to take in. Durkara herself. <laughs> All right. What needs to be done for this young one for him to have his life back? We must find the midwinter father and the midwinter mother to beg for the child. It is a day of celebration. It is a day of revelry. We will give the sun something to shine on so that it is drawn back to the world, so that today is the shortest day. So just just so I'm on the same page here as everybody else, you've done this before, you've found this couple, you've begged for a child's life back, and they've come back from the dead. No, no, he, he... He is a lost child. He does. We do not know his natural parents. We are talking about the winners of the festival, the mother and father. All right. Will you join us? Were you expecting us? No. No, it has been a very long time since we have had guests. Can I insight check him? Yeah. Uh, That is a uh, plus eight. It's 19. Oh, yeah, let's go. Big money. He is not approaching you. He is keeping his hands together. He seems pleading and earnest. Oh, I have a proposition. If you don't mind me, Mr. Yornir, this whole uh, culty thing is is more more uh, more your wheelhouse. But perhaps uh, we see how this works. Mr. Stabascotch and I return from the dead, perhaps by those same primal forces. But. If this day goes by and that child is not uh, returned to us, I'll smash your skull in with an anchor. How does that sound? It is a deal. I like your enthusiasm and quick response. I like you. I am Thunder. Oh, I'm a Barnabas Dreadweight. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. 
He, he, he's now approaching you, and uh, uh, the others are starting to feel a little bit more relaxed, too. Uh, Taijan, you're still holding a dead book child, um, but as as this group starts to, to show up, they, they're, they're smiling. They, they, they look at you almost like an old friend, even even in this current strange situation that you all have now find yourselves in. Oh, no. You're I don't like this. I don't like this. This is going really pear-shaped really quickly. He's, he's faith, Scrape. It is not chance that we ended up here. Uh-huh. That I peered into the weird moments before the ritual. This is not chance. This is fate. Their ways killed this child. They're wrong. If this is what they do to see spring, they don't deserve to see it. I'd I don't smile. Well, like I spit the last words out of my mouth, and like fire would look out of my between my teeth. What is it? Would you doom if this, if as they say is true, would you doom the rest of this land to eternal winter for the sake of one child? It is not right to force a decision like that upon a child. I'm not saying it is. But what I am saying is that sometimes it is more complicated. Yeah, and it may be more complicated, but we don't have to willingly join a party as if this isn't difficult. Well, I will join this party because I believe we are here for a reason. That reason is to join them and to assist in this. And I saw it in the runes moments before. So I will join you. You are? I am called Yornir. I am Sander. It is good to meet you. I am sure this is a shock, but we must make merry this day. We must share in gifts, in games, pranks. Pranks. Join us. Help us. Get the attention of the great light in the sky. Ask it to come back with us. Where do we do this? As we make our way up the mountaintop, we will take the child, and by the end of the day, we will hope. If we fail in our mission and the boy does not return, It will not matter if you have an anchor. The winter will never end. Listen, Taishan, I don't like this any more than you do. Trust me, I don't have any idea what's going on here. But if what they say is right, then maybe everything will be set right. And look, no one's ever said that Scrim stab a scotch as a leader, so I'm following along with you on here. A second... Um, one of these uh, uh, other um, silver dragonborn um, walks up and um, it is my honor to carry the child this day. I can take this burden off of your hands. I have not done it for many years, but I would be happy to do it now if you would allow me to make the back of the procession. It's no burden to me. <clears throat> I'll carry him. Then we will be at the rear of the festival. I will stand with you. I'll be right next to you, Mr. Saunder. I tap on my anchor. <laughs> we will make our way up to the first camp. There will be food there, and we can talk. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> I know it's a little inappropriate, but you have supplies? You did mention food. You have any food on you now? Perhaps a vole. I do not have food on me now. I have... Uh, we, we will be making our way... You don't bring snacks on your processions? Our first meal is, uh, uh, is, is cookies. If you like cookies. <laughs> yeah, I'll take anything at this point. It's been a very long time since we've had anything to eat. 
They are almost done, I'm sure. We can go uh, 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 just up this way. Uh, the, How long? Not 200 feet, uh, 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 in a, a 40, uh, uh, 45 minutes walk. <sighs> Pick you up a little bit when I hear cookies, but I hate how it makes me feel. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I don't really know how this works. Are you going to lead the way? or? Yes, please do lead the way. Uh, she, uh, Thonder turns and claps, and uh, the others um, uh, almost, like, cheer. Like, you, 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 they, they're... they're cognizant enough to not like immediately jump up and like be all, all excited and what have you but they are um uh, clearly in a mood of merriment as they turn and start to make their way up and staking close to tai shen uh you watch them all start to flow up uh and around the side of the the, the mountain face and uh you begin to make your way and sure enough uh why don't you both uh make uh, perception checks at advantage I just want to, I want to go on record as I make my perception check to say that this entire oh, thing makes yeah, Sprint yeah. sick, but deep in the pit of his stomach, he's still hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but perception at advantage. 23. 23. 17. 17. Surely enough, just as Saunders said, uh, you start to turn uh, 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 around the side of the, the, the cliff and... On the wind, there is the smell of baked goods. Oh, by the gods. It smells uh, 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 almost uh, gingery in, the, in no. the, the nature of its quality. Um, I can't and, even think about how long it's been. And underneath that, there's a, a, a not not a honey, but a, a, some sort of a sweet uh, uh, ale-like smell. Oh. Is that ginger? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think they might have alcohol. Oh. Oh, is, is, is that ginger snaps and butter beer? It has to be. It must be. It couldn't be anything else. My nose wouldn't deceive me. You you reach. Uh, uh, you have a, a a moment to talk amongst yourselves before you reach the first camp. I'm extremely distracted, though. <laughs> <sighs> I do the thing where I Scooby Doo up <laughs> and I start I float, I float yeah. on the scent trail. Yeah, on the scent oh, trail. Incredible. Oh, yeah, those cookies, hot oh, ginger snaps. Um, turning around the, cor- the the next corner, you find another one of these flat outcroppings, and you can see that there are a number mesa. of uh, mesas <laughs> and campfires um, that uh, house more druids. <laughs> He scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Sorry, it's, uh, it's, I have to do it every good. time. I love it. <laughs> I just want Derek to think he's that actually always got me. in trouble of being a little on fire. <laughs> Keeps a good DM on their toes. Um, where did I? Ah, okay. That's why I wish that you were there for Feywild. You'd be able to just ha- light me on fire. And <laughs> like Threaten to. No, I, Threaten I, to. I, you probably should just light me on fire. <laughs> That way, I sure really am there. always on my toes. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> when's he going to pull out the flamethrower? Um, at this point, I would, if I feel like I can talk to Yorni, and maybe not even, like, trying to lower my voice, I'll say, uh, Mr. Yorni, you are the uh, shaman here. I will trust your judgment. If you feel like this is some sort of perversion of the land and isn't the right path and is against fate, you say the word and I start swinging. Ah, sorry. Oh, I thought it was my computer. That's, sorry. That's my alarm. <laughs> oh. I, I'm with Barnabas. I mean, you know this better than anybody. I'm going in blind here. I'm trusting you. What I will say is that just because you do not understand their ways, their practices, and their rituals, no matter how unfortunate they may be, It does not mean that it is inherently sinister what they do. They could be uh, genuine. I have lived a long time. I have been all over Mammut. And I have known cultures that have done similar things. That have sacrificed their elderly. Sacrificed their young ones. Sacrificed those based on fate. And it is not the way of my order. I do not believe it is the correct interpretation of the old faith, but... 
they too believe that they are doing good. They too believe that they are bringing good crops the next year, a fruitful hunting season, bringing the seals back to the fjords. That said, this may not be as they say, and I'll, I'll say it. I'm not going to try to like, hide my voice. I'll be very blunt. Uh, but you made your agreement, and I will allow you to honor that. Uh, that's something we can agree on, Mr. Yornir. I trust your judgment in these matters. So it may be hard to believe, but I believe that Mamut sent me here for a reason. I am exactly in the right place. I am where I'm supposed to be. And as they said, they worship their car. It's not the land, it is a she, it is a it is their own god. What they do is not that different from my order. You think Mahmood and Drakkar know each other? I do not know. I received visions of this land when I had my incident perhaps there is some connection I do not know either way I will continue forward and I won't stop you from eating all of the cookies no, I'm going to eat most. <gasps> I'm going to at least eat one more than Scrum. <laughs> well, well, we'll see about that. Uh, and for what it's worth, I appreciate the cookie blessing, uh, but I certainly didn't need your permission. <laughs> I just want to go on record. Well, I was just trying to say that, you know, if you are reanimated through some sort of horrible curse, I won't prevent your, you know, base animal desires to eat cookies. Thank good goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> As you turn, you can see um, uh, fire, small campfires all spitted, uh, spotted around this uh, very large outcropping. And you can see um, uh, not dozens, but uh, quite a number of these um, silver dragonborn. Uh, and some of them are indeed making cookies uh, nearby. But you also spy a num number of other really bizarre sites right away. Uh, in the center of this outcropping is a huge bonfire. And what appear to be um, uh, bushels of hay that people are forming into uh, the shapes of uh, beasts or symbols or something like that and then hooking and 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 almost like an effigy burning down at the top uh, that seem to have great meaning to them and they're they're sort of uh, 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 laughing or 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 yelling at these uh, uh, different symbols as they are being submerged in the fire uh, to the side you can also see that there are two pools of water and uh, unbelievably they are not frozen but uh, even more unbelievably there are people who are plunging themselves into into the fire and trying to stay in for what seems like as long as possible before jumping over to one where they are putting hot rocks that looks like almost a steaming sauna that has uh, uh, fruits and other like citrus uh, uh, items uh, floating therein. Um, you can see uh, some people uh, have uh, uh, removed the, the uh, uh, top of their robe and put a uh, uh, these um, sort of fake wigs on and they dip their hair into the water and then try to shape them into different beasts uh, 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 equally well. At this moment, looking at the strange uh, surprise on all of your faces, uh, Sonder walks up. These are traditions of uh, long, long uh, story history of our people. Uh, our circle believes in in uh, 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 connecting to nature, but also to our, our, our people. And, and uh, it may seem very strange, but understand this. The, the celebrating and, and uh, uh, joining in on the act, in the activities, they are, are, are attempting to earn uh, tokens, tokens that will allow them to uh, uh, perhaps be that father or perhaps be that mother that may uh, uh, have the honor of bringing back the child at the top of the mountain. If you have any interest in this, Please share in our activities, share in our cookies, share in, in, in any, anything you see fit, and, and you would uh, be, be perhaps uh, 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 find this honor on your own shoulders. I will partake in the cookies. Thank you. No, I mean, too. Um, but you're saying that you would let us outsiders compete for tokens? 
to potentially take part in your, your rituals? It has been a long time since we've had any outsiders, but it's, it's, uh, this is a ritual that was performed all across Drakkar and uh, by many uh, uh, races and by many peoples. Uh, you would be not just welcome, but happily invited. I, I know that what you saw was very violent to start, but it is uh, uh, our attempt to undo that violence that makes this ritual possible. Well, I do like tokens, and I really like games. And I really, really like tokens. Yorni, what do you think about this? What do I think about what? Competing. Winning some tokens. Trying to become this... It is midwinter. I elder mean, couple. Part of these festivals is supposed to... We are supposed to eat. We are supposed to have fun, relax, talk. Enjoy the day. Despite the grim tidings we received. <laughs> You look over and you see Daisy. She's just like... <laughs> are, are, are those just, just help yourself? Is that... And she points at like, like 20 feet. There's like a, a, a bench of these fucking things. I'll be back. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just going to like scramble over and start grabbing cookies. You're going to learn that was a mistake. <laughs> you run over and you can see um, these are shaped knotted cookies. Uh, very similar to the Celtic knot uh, patterns that you saw on the uh, surface of the bloodstone. And uh, they're made of bark flour, but they are actually even more delicious for it. It's not like biting a tree. There's uh, an earthy quality to them, but they do clearly mm. have been seasoned by uh, uh, sugars and by um, seasoning spices. Uh, you can you get senses of the, the Dracarian equivalent of nutmeg and ginger and um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a delicious cookie. Oh, no. Oh. A little chewy, not, not, mm. not like crisp and mm. crunchy, just like something that almost like has a brownie-like uh, quality to it. Barnabas, Scrim, uh, you are um, smashing these cookies one after the other into your mouth, and uh, just adjacent to that, you do see um, what appears to be a uh, tankard, uh, a large barrel um, with a spout on it, and a variety of open flagons uh, for uh, what is uh, might be able to help wash that down. I proceed to help myself. You pour it in, and what you find is a um, uh, a bunch of um, uh, a blood mead. In the in the bottom of your uh, in, uh, of your of your tankard, uh, it's called blood mead because of its color, not because mm. it has blood in it. You smell it; it doesn't seem it's to have any actual thing. blood in it. But uh, you uh, take a sip, and it's bright and delicious and sweet, and uh, uh, it goes extremely well with the cookies. Um, at this moment, uh, you're approached, uh, both of you, by um, a. a, a uh, another dragonborn and uh, hands you two small, um, like almost shot glasses. Uh, hi, what's this? Will you have any milk? <laughs> we may have milk, yes, but first, what's this? but first after 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 meals we we say hi and we 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 drink shot of water. Boy, water is it water? Is water <laughs> good? Good water. Uh, hi, hi, <laughs> hi. Uh, and others are, are coming in. They, they hear and they, yeah. they, you hear the That's echoing quality highs as, as, as people see, see you guys starting to participate. They're waving and hi, hi, hi. Uh, you, you can hear that uh, go all the Does way down. Does it taste hi. like water? Uh, as soon as you sip it, yeah, it's 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 very fresh, like um, uh, like uh, uh, river water. Uh, it, it's 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 tastes delicious. I set the shot glass down and I begin to fill my cup again with the the, the blood mead. Keep glass. Uh, oh, keep, you want me to keep that? I was going to ask. When Many we, more meals ahead. And we just keep doing those shots of what water after every meal. Uh, oh, all right, I'll keep it on me. All right. <laughs> oh, it's a, pl- a palate cleanser. Do the recipe for these cookies. You have to speak to uh, uh, Monach. Monach? Yes, our cook in the uh, 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 fourth camp. Oh, well, that's yeah. a good idea. We yeah. can head yeah. on over there. I don't uh, know how they get them so chewy. Well, uh, cookies are good, but like, uh, do you guys have any like meat or, or like eggs or like egg shells or fruit or like fruit rinds? I, I mean, literally Much meat garbage comes later. at this point. I'll take Much it. meat up on the way, but first, but uh, tokens. Now. I'm going to plunge bowl. Plunge pool. What? What's the plan? Is that on the way or past the cook? Like, plunge gonna- pool. Plunge pool. And he uh, uh, starts to undo his um, uh, <laughs> robe and starts to walk over to the the bath in order to uh, uh, take a dip into what is clearly extra freezing water. Can I bring my drink with me into the plunge pool? Is that taboo? That's fine. 
<laughs> oh, I gotta go check this out at the very least. Are you gonna go talk to the guy? Go- I'm gonna go. I gotta go see this plunge pool. Don't we get tokens for the plunge pool? It's, it's uh, one of the, uh, the traditions, yes. Oh! I will, uh, I'll follow him oh, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll begin to take well. off my winter clothes. I am Ruba. You are. Scram. I'm Barnabas. Straight away, get your service. Uh, and, uh, Let me take off my net. <laughs> do, do any of you start to participate in the activities? Uh, I would look at the sauna, and I would be like, it's been a long time <laughs> since I have experienced one of those. That would be very nice right now. So I will, I will enjoy these. You, uh, you see um, uh, uh, two um, uh, feminine uh, silver dragonborns are, are, are clearly just like head back, just like lounging arms over the uh, edge of the, of the um, depression that makes this pool. Uh, and uh, you can tell that it looks luxurious. You can even get a uh, vapor of uh, uh, clearly there's been like some sort of grain alcohol poured into this. It's, uh, it is, it is a, a hot and steamy bath. I picked the wrong pool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll remove like a bunch of my gear and stuff and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll probably just have to keep my pants on. <laughs> you don't get a token if you just come to the sauna. I mean, you, you're invited. Certainly, you you, uh, uh, you would be good company for uh, uh, Vimo and Biko. Uh, me be, myself being Biko, for some reason, I'm referring to myself in the, the southern person. Me, your mirror. <laughs> ah, pleasure to meet you. Yes. Uh, 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 but goo. Uh, uh, it looks like your friends are about to endure the, the, the harsh elements of the plunge pool. This is enough for me. Uh, okay, and Taishan, um, you are standing there uh, still carrying this great heavy weight, uh, Queenie at your side, and you can tell that um, uh, uh, Daisy has silently made her way over to the bonfire and is starting to work the hay into some shape uh, 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 whatever her creative imagination is bringing to the, to the fore. What are you doing, both of you? Uh, do I get a sense that there's a, like... A place that they would have put the kid to rest for right now at the festival. Right at the top of this ascent, uh, just before this outcropping, there does appear to be a, a stone um, that looks specifically like it, it would it would uh, uh, to, to be laid down for rest. Okay, just a stone. Yeah. Okay, I would uh, go, I'd walk first to the hay where Daisy is and get as much as I could additionally. Um, you you then, get some food and... No, no, just the hay. Oh, okay. Just the hay. You, you grab some hay, sure. And then uh, sure, I'd go back to the... Food. Yeah. I, I would go back to the stone and try and make it like a little nicer. Just with like a little bed of hay. Okay. And lay the child down. You lay down notice and um, you, his face looks uh, um, uh, serene at rest. Uh, even though there's quite a bit of damage, the the um, the head hadn't, hadn't actually taken much of the impact. And so it's just eyes closed looking up into the sky. Whoa. At least he's at peace now. To grow up in such a harsh land. He didn't get a chance to grow up. No, he didn't. I don't know how everyone can just party after this. Maybe, maybe I'm different. But I've never seen anything like that. And I look down at my overalls covered in blood and dragon scales and I look to my friends that are eating and bathing and enjoying the night and I just don't understand even if we can't change it it's it's still not something I've ever seen before I watch the laugh go out of that poor child's eyes and I, I can't think of anything else I feel broken. I felt his dragon's breath fade away in my arms. I, the, the only piece of hope that I can hold on to now is that Yornir is right and somehow this serves a larger purpose and somehow 
he will be reborn. And that doesn't excuse it. They will never know me as a friend. That may be true, and I hope it is, but it'll never erase the memory I made today. Yes. It'll never, nothing will ever wash the blood from these overalls. I'll, I don't have a change of clothes. I'll never be able to look at these again and not think of that poor boy. I just, I'm gonna go look into the fire for a while. Okay. I'm I need gonna... some time to myself. But if you need me, you know where to find me. Thank you. And if you do feel like eating a cookie or bathing and laughing, that's okay too. We all gotta handle things our own way, you know? Mm. And even though I know you're not reincarnated you from the death of a Wendigo, I, I, I do know that we're all different. We all come from different places. And though I'll never understand Yornir or Barnabas or Scrim, or really even you, you're all my family. So you do what you need to do to make your heart a little bit lighter, all right? Well said, Queenie. I have no appetite now. I'm looking down at notice. But I have a feeling we'll need our strength for what come whatever comes next. No. no. I'll reach down and grab his little hand. I hope that the choice you made was worth it, little man. And I hope that I do get to meet you someday. But if I don't, I hope that you have found peace. All right, I gotta go. This is just much too heavy for me. Come on, bees. I'm gonna pat my honey pot and I'm just gonna walk over to the fire. I'm not gonna pick up anything or make anything with them. I'm just gonna stare into the flames. Okay. Let's go. Barnabas, scrim is the bee. <laughs> you are staring down into uh, uh, a still pool of water. Um, the last dragonborn uh, uh, who couldn't take it anymore has, has uh, jumped out and, and plunged himself next to uh, Yornir and uh, the two uh, ladies. And um, oh, oh, you hear a sigh of, of, so of relief. Hmm? He changed pools. He changed pools. And it's very obvious that this other pool is almost right next to this, this pool because of how... Um, uh, the cold of this water makes you feel like you want to get it's into like the hot tub. It's like jumping into a pool and then hopping into the hot tub. Yeah. It's like the greatest thing ever. And uh, yeah, how do we feel standing? I'm standing. I'm in my own minor pants. How do I feel standing in this cold in my underwear? Do you feel it? I mean, junk. it's negative 40, negative 45 degrees. It's fucking cold, but not so cold as to make you make a, a constitution saving throw in a mechanical Do sense. I feel weird? Like, do I feel weird about it? Like, do I notice that I'm just like not as cold as I should be? Oh. Make an insight check. I'm just curious if it, if that strikes me as odd, like oh, I'm not, you know, this is quite pleasant. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go. Oh, Mason, it's every day for you. <sighs> you're jo- you're, you're oh, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You're joined by uh, uh, another uh, dragonborn who who, who uh, pull, like basically jumps in, almost cannonballs, and it splooshes around. I got a fourteen, and I'm, I'm, I'm as I'm preparing to, I'm watching Barnabas get in. I'm going to follow him. It does momentary. occur to you that you aren't, that you feel like, like maybe it's the adrenaline of the of, of what's happened this morning, but uh, it is, it is weird, or the mead perhaps. It's, it's a little mm. weird, and you, you get in just as Barnabas is settling in, and it occurs to you that this is somewhat magical water, that it ignores cold resistance. So, oh shit! Oh, well, <laughs> uh, sitting down, the uh, opposite one. Our goal is to stay in as long as possible. <sighs> oh, that really hits you once it gets past the ghoulies. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Longest stay in win game, eh? <laughs> and, uh, uh, what you do is roll a hit your hit dice. Oh Jesus! Subtract your Constitution uh, modifier. Oh, no. By the crown of Great King Crab! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. Hit die minus con modifier? Yep. 
Oh, oh I am hit not. die? Oh no, I'm I'm okay at this. I should be okay at so this. What do you say? Hit die. Uh, hit, take your hit die and subtract uh, uh, your um, total. Mod, yeah, your, wow. Yeah, subtract. So I don't know if subtract I want a low number or a high to, number to, to reduce the roll. Minimum one. Okay. Come on. So I got a spike in eight here. Wait, eight, right? Hit die. Yep. Your D8. Modifier. You're damn fiend, dude. Ah, shit, that didn't go yeah, in. I'm yeah, rerolling yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven! My con modifier is unfortunately a four, though. It's very high. Okay, so, so you take three. three damage. Oh! It's not real oh! damage. It's, your, your max HP is going down. We're just tracking this for the purposes of the, how we're going to mechanically represent right, how I'm cold do, it is. But you, do oh, hand. oh, oh, it's cold. <gasps> so wait, I rolled a nine. Yes. My con is plus four. Yes. So you take five from your your what oh. your max HP would be, and you start subtracting it. And whoever can stay in the longest wins the game. Wow, this is pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this this other nameless dragonborn across the way is, is like trying to concentrate and breathe and like white knuckle it. Uh, let's roll again. As I as I roll again, Ooh. I'm <laughs> my teeth are chattering, but I'm still <laughs> sipping from the mead. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I take two damage. Another seven, oh, minus one, four, man. I take three points of damage. Oh, 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 I yeah. thought you had five. Okay. Oh, so you want to roll low on that. Yeah, you want to roll low okay. on the dice, because then you subtract your con. Yeah. Right. And Damn so the it, lower, like the lower you roll on the dice. So me like, being a barbarian. So I'm taking me. max, I'm basically <laughs> taking max damage. <laughs> My high, thus far. <laughs> My beefiness makes me bad at uh, <laughs> doing well, con stuff. Well, but you also have a like, health pool, so. <sighs> so, what, 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 do we, what do we talk about while we're waiting here? Just concentrate on winning game. Uh, okay. <laughs> can, can, can I get a c c cookie? <laughs> uh, no one, seems, oh, to, no one seems to hear you, but there, do, there does seem to be someone like observing. To I see never got my milk. Uh, there does seem to be like uh, almost a judge observing to see like who 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 gets out last because it can sometimes be a narrow race. Uh, just start rolling uh, over and over and over because we need to get you guys down to the point where you maybe have to start make death death saving right. throws. That's a four, uh, so I take one. So that's my third roll. Let's just make sure we roll the same number. Oh of dice. yeah. So how many have you rolled? You're on four. Um, this is so All right, let me catch up. Yeah. Four. That was a so four. Let me catch up. So I don't take any damage there, right? If if I go negative, or I take one, you take yeah, minimum one. one. All right, so that puts me at thirty-five, and then thirty-four. All right, so now this is the fifth roll. Yep. Oof, that's gonna be a big old four. Max so I go to thirty. Six six roll. Okay. Six roll. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Shit. That's four. So I don't take anything. I take one. So I go to twenty-nine. What is the seventh roll? I take four. Oof. So I go to twenty-five. Okay. Eighth roll. On the eighth roll, um, th this uh, nameless dragonborn. I can't. I can't. I. <laughs> and you can tell he's like nearly to the point of fainting when he just like turns around and just jumps into the like almost like crawls uh, as as and sprints into the the hot tub for lack of a better word. Damage, oh. way, in, case you were yeah, in his ghoulies. Oh. <laughs> you hear you hear him. Uh, That's the worst he, place he, he, he sinks in face first and then to like be freezing and get into hot water because you can give yourself fear of damage. Oh well, really? uh, 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 he now can no longer feel and <laughs> his <laughs> life is fucked. <laughs> uh, join the club. Uh, Ninth roll between the two of you. Yeah, the, you, who, who heads up? Who, who wins? Oh, Jesus, I'm rolling really high. It's clear that uh, these dragonborn haven't lived at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I mean, I didn't live at the bottom of the ocean either. This is kind of weird. I don't know how I'm able to do this. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ninth roll. Oh, it's 17. I'll just tell you. That's fine. 37. Oh, Jesus, there's no shot. <laughs> no, I'm rolling like an absolute madman. Well, <laughs> <laughs> these were hit points. Yeah. Uh, I keep taking one eights. damage, one damage, one damage. I have almost max con too, which is pretty crazy. I'm at 13. I don't know what roll this is. I'm just rolling. I'm, I'm just keeping up with you. Okay. Oh, gee. I mean, you're still going to crush me. I'm at 11. <laughs> 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 okay, this is a big roll. This is a big roll. Uh, I take one there, so I'm not in 10. Seven. That was a big chunk. I'm at 20. You have the ability to take higher damage. I take another one, so I'm at nine. If I just keep rolling ones, I might be okay here. Yeah. There another we go, one. another one. I'm at eight. I feel like I'm going to tap out here, though. I'm at 20. Oh, shit. I actually physically don't think now. Oh, no. I, I tap out. 
before I get to one, because this puts me at five. If you want Sorry, to start risking death saving throws. Fuck no! I got <laughs> one to spare! And that's from a meta perspective. Uh, yeah. Spring doesn't know uh, that. Yeah, that's right. But Andy's not that bad that's of a player. Right. All right. <sighs> All right, Barnabas. This has been fun. Uh, but uh, I could go way longer, but I'm out of meat. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> no jumps, Mr. Climb, Shabbos. No jumps! I climb, no out. I climb <laughs> out and I go, uh, do I feel like I need to get in the hot water? <laughs> and suffer horrific nerve damage on my ghoulies? Uh, we're going to ignore the nerve damage realities. And, uh, uh, it's fantasy you, world. You get out and you're very cold. Even even because you're so wet, the blowing wind now uh, immediately chills you to the bone. Uh, you. You should get in the water. Okay. As soon as I jump out of the water, uh, holding my tankard, I will, <laughs> and I'll like jump in, but I'll, I'll make sure that I keep the tankard above the water. It's like fully submerged. <laughs> you are awarded a token by and the oh. uh, uh, silver dragonborn druid, and now you guys can start taking those as you participate. Um, the Neat. Uh, you are not awarded a token, but uh, everyone claps and cheers when they see you and, and Barnabas. Oh, you give gets... Mr. Stavis got a big round of applause. He has 33% more health than I do. He did, That's a large it's chunk. fucking huge. <laughs> he did great, didn't he, ladies and gentlemen and everyone watching? And um, everyone, hi! The, you hear more highs. Uh, uh, hi! Happening. More uh, milk! Um... No one's brought you milk yet. You keep asking for milk. But I would like some milk, no please. Milk Another round of no milk. milk at this camp. It seems uh, everyone's just sort of looking around. Um, I don't get any cookies with no milk. You're free to. Uh, oh, uh, as you dip down, the other um, uh, gentleman who uh, you were competing against, um, uh, he uh, indicates that his name is um, Lachis, mm. and uh, he's. Uh, would you like a little something extra? Yes, of course. Uh, this is very special. I once traveled across the Sea of Fog, and I found a great forest of humidity and heat and greenery. It was a strange land known as Chuck. And there we, we felled a great snake, and we were able to save its venom. Here, if you take more than a drop, you will die, but... Just uh, if you take the end of this toothpick and suck on it, you will awaken to the world. Before you finish it, I put the toothpick in my mouth. <laughs> Make a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, let me take a good one for this. So I'm about to trip balls. And if, it's, if, if it matters, it is poison. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that matters for me. Have a good, good night. night Kaya. Oh, good night, Kaya. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, I rolled a 19, which gives Thanks me a 23 on a con saving throw. Uh, 23. Um, the poison doesn't poison you. You don't have the poisoned condition. Instead, you <laughs> are I'm a goblin. You are charmed. Oh. You are not charmed by any particular individual. You are not charmed by anything specific. You're char. You're. You're. you're, you're Charmed by everything specific, you are charmed by the world. You suddenly, uh, as this uh, uh, this material makes, yeah, your eyelids get fucking huge, and uh, all of a sudden, the blood mead. You look down, and it looks like you're staring down at the ocean, and the waves are crashing. You you look uh, Uh. uh, uh, at the at the steam coming up, and it's making the most amazing hypnotic patterns in the air. You look at your friend Barnabas, and uh, uh, you've never seen his tattoos and in all these configurations. Uh, Them. Them moving and, and animating bone. across his skin, almost. You are uh, 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 lucidly alive to the universe as soon as this happens, um, and you are all free to do what you want to do after that effect occurs. So, did you join us in the hot tub? Or are you still chilling in the in the in the cold tub? Do I have to keep rolling? Yeah. <laughs> It'll eventually kill yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, eventually <laughs> you will either faint or and have to be pulled out, or you. But you've already been given a token. Like, I'll get more cookies. You go get more cookies. <laughs> oh, you, you got milk. So you're you're in the hot tub. Yeah, right? I've been I've been in the hot tub. I'm like stare. I'm gonna I'm, I'm like staring into the tankard. My eyes are wide, and I'm I'm like, you're here. Yes. I I gotta ask you a question. All right. You wouldn't lie to me, right? No, I have no reason to. <laughs> Barnabas keeps saying that I died. Is that true? Did yes. we die? Yes, you you and Barnabas were dead. I saw your corpse. Oh god, you're I'm really freaking out, man. 
What? This is not new information. I didn't Why really believe it? it. I didn't really believe it. I mean, I fell unconscious and then I was awake. I, that's a normal thing. Well, you are alive now. That's the important thing, is it not? So the... So the... The Wendigo. He killed us? Yes. It killed you. It killed Barnabas. And then we killed it. You fight Wendigo. Ah, where did you come from? I've been right here. I gave you this. <laughs> you are lightweight. And he, like, he's sucking out his own toothpick. How, how do I... I can't, I can't take my eyes off him as I try to turn back to you. How do I know I'm not dead right now? You are, you are not dead because you are currently alive. I, ah! I can confirm that. Whoa. Whoa. Is, is he talking at me to pick up his hair? <laughs> And like drop it on his shoulder. When you Just drop you it, when it. you drop it, it doesn't seem to go down at the regular like gravity. Instead, it like lava flows down <laughs> and then like pools and like hits his shoulder and continues. Turns into a giant red snake. And... <laughs> Are you well? Uh, never better. I brought cookies! <laughs> Oops! I oh, dropped those! There goes one into the gym! Oh, that'll be good. Okay, who wants cookies? Cookie! Oh, cookie for you, stranger! Cookie for you, Mr. Skeppy! Yeah, we like My cookies. My cookie falls into the uh, hot water. I'm trying to push it out. <laughs> we soak, we laugh, and we cheer in defiance of the leaving sun to show it with your return to life. Aye! Aye! <laughs> I'm here for the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is just pleasant. Thing. It's at this... It, <laughs> and, you, and you are soaking. Um, Queenie, you're staring into the fire for um, uh, what feels like a long time when uh, a uh, female... Dragonborn sits down next to you and asks, just very plain and blunt, "You are not participating in in the the festivities. I I think I understand why. It is m very strange. I'm sure to see our ways for the first time. I know. Yeah, it is. But it's not just that it's strange." You, I'm assuming, grew up like this, yeah? These are your ways. This is how you live. My whole life. So you've come to expect it. I was simply with my friends looking at a calendar when a young child fell to its death and is now present upon my frock. We can get you a frock, but... I don't think the solution is in cleaning or replacing your clothes. It's a shocking thing. I, I, I would be shocked uh, by it as well. If I did not know by the power of Trakar, by the power of this land, I've seen this happen many, many times, hundreds of times. And it is always the same. At the end of this day, we will be cheering for the sun's return the sun that is this boy. And she gestures over with her head to notice. I hope you're right. Please also understand that it can fail. There is a chance if we are not all filled by the light of the sun, filled by the the, the, the story, the, 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 the tale of this, this journey that we make to the summit. I'm not part of your clan. The si sun shines down on you like it does everyone else here. It's not shining on me this day. Is there nothing I can get you or do for you? I think I just need time to myself. I appreciate you coming and talking to me. But our journeys, our paths are different. We haven't walked the same road. And I, I imagine if I were walking in your shoes, I would feel differently. You've said you've seen this time and time again. 
well, this is my first. And I don't know how to, I don't quite know how to stomach it. I see that you have a number of small friends with you. Oh, yeah, my bees. This was not produced by bees, but it is a day of gift giving. And I would like for you to have uh, this gift. And she reaches into her cloak and pulls out a small um, uh, bottle, a vial. And uh, she, she hands it. This is pine cone honey. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Please accept it. I would be glad to accept your honey. And I'll open up my pot of bees and they'll uh, fly out and they'll create a... Um, They'll create a thumbs up. That's just what they do with it, please. Thumbs up. <laughs> you killed again. Um, and you you open it up, and it has this unbelievable pine scent. But you can tell that it's a very thick and, and sappy, delicious uh, honey that's clearly made through some sort of fermentation process. And, well, thank you very much. Uh, it's at this point that um, the gentleman who offered to take uh, and carry the child uh, walks up to you, Tai Shen. It is nearly time for us to move to the next camp. We must make it by the end of the day. Would you still like the honor? You are guest here, and I am happy to make this my gift to you. <clears throat> I would still like to carry notice. If I may. We are ready to make our way to the next uh, outcropping. Please, take him and uh, stay at the rear. I will sing. Okay. I'll pick him back up. Start to make your way up, and uh, another 45-minute, hour-long walk, you ascend another 200 feet or so uh, up this uh, very long, slow uh, uh, rotation around the spiral that is the making up the, the, the last uh, ascent uh, of the mountain. And sure enough, just as you come around, there is a, an open, rocky area, flat, uh, flat rock, uh, and you can see here there are um, uh, people uh, uh, attempting to start fires, and then once they have the fire going, uh, doing fire performances, launching great balls of flame into the air. Uh, you can see um, uh, there's a group of children uh, all standing, uh, 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 sitting, uh, surrounded uh, while a woman um, orchestrates with her hands, clearly telling some sort of a, a, a rich uh, tale. They're all enthralled by uh, the, her energy and by the story and the drama that's unfolding in front of her. Uh, I need you both to make a perception check with advantage. Oh, I'd be honored. <laughs> Have I come down yet, or am I still tripping balls? Natural 20! Oh, gotta oh, give it up. Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. Thank you. Uh, so my perception is a 25. <clears throat> uh, that'll be a 22 for me. Oh, both of you smell it right away, and you both uh, <laughs> immediately Scooby-Doo and float towards the direction. You don't need, even need to see it to know that this is meat. This is my gut and my beard seared duck <laughs> with some kind of a berry sauce and cardamom carrot mash. Ooh. And uh, the oh, drink on display oh, at the side oh, here oh, is this, some elderflower like cordial. Uh, it's uh, it, it pops, and you can hear it fizz and and actually like overflow in the tankards that are that are um, uh, being poured through. Uh, and of course, everyone finishes their their drinks and then takes a shot of water. Hi, uh, you can you can see this Hi. all very much. Um, uh, what are you all doing? Am I still tripping balls? Uh, I come down yet? You trip balls for this camp, and then it'll be. Uh, 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 <laughs> so uh, as we approach the camp, and I'm smelling the food, and uh, I'm looking around, I'm, I'm perspiring a little, and uh, I looked, I looked to your near, and I looked to Barnabas, and I say, "Oh gods, oh gods, no, my feet are shrinking, my feet are shrinking, my feet are shrinking," and I look at the guy uh, who uh, who gave me the toothpick, and I say, "Yeah, hi, I gotta help myself some of that drink here," and I put. Five gold pieces, and I say, "Keep the change!" And I run uh, over to the uh, elder flower liqueur, and I uh, and I help myself, and I start drinking uh, deeply. Why? So why is Andy not in Feywild? <laughs> well, also, uh, exactly how much acid have you done? <laughs> no, Andy, not Scrim. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, same answer. Same answer. Yeah. 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 
Um, I think I think we should absolutely play the Feywild campaign, but Andy's character is just Andy. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Andy? Who's Andy? Join us. It allows you to literally an isekai. <laughs> You don't have a Welcome to the Fey World! <laughs> You're the king of games! <laughs> We've been waiting for you to defeat the Dark Lord! Yeah, that's his person. <laughs> <laughs> you have no spells or abilities. No, no I, I have a sharp stick. <laughs> I'm gonna formally request that the uh, the poison last the entire rest of the session. <laughs> I already know how long the venom fades, and it's written right here on my sheet. Um, so that's those are the things that you see. Uh, this uh, tail, uh, Taishan, if you make a perception check. Oh. Uh, and I will say, um, there's another uh, 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 stone. Um, this one has already been adorned, um, this time by uh, uh, piney wreaths. Uh, word has traveled of your um, uh, gesture with the hay, and clearly um, somebody has taken the time to care, uh, uh, carefully lay down uh, a softer mat uh, in respect and reverence of what you are attempting to do, to, to meet you halfway. <laughs> Halfway. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I would. Oh, uh, uh, 17. 17. Uh, this entire tale is in Draconic. And so uh, you're the only one who can hear the the few words uh, that are. It's it's still an ancient tongue, um, but it is absolutely the um, uh, the case that you if you were to f- go there, you'd be able to um, participate in like listening to the story with these children, um, just letting you know that you, you your ears perk up and you start to be like, oh, this something about bountiful lands and oh there's uh there 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 are characters mm-hmm. and 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 heroes and and happenings mm-hmm. um what are the rest of you all doing while well, taishan thinks about uh uh his choice as he lays down the body of notice do do i ever feel full like do i have the cap- the capability of becoming full or is it really just yeah it, it just it just takes uh uh and much more okay. food okay yeah, I, I would just be helping myself to whatever the meat that is there and mm-hmm. the food and the drink. You're and pulling uh, uh, slices of, of seared duck, um, and there's a lot of this. Um, as you are doing that, uh, I, I'll actually have you make an intelligence check. Ah. Ooh, not bad. Not so just straight, bad. just straight up, like use my int modifier. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's plus one, so I guess seventeen. Not with, very a, with a 17, you're loving the food and being like, wow, how did it all, they get all of this food up here? And before that, that thought even um, uh, can resolve, that question in your mind, uh, uh, you notice the cordial and you hear a pop. And uh, it starts to, uh, 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 you're handed uh, one of these delicious elderflower. Uh, I don't even think I'd just take it and drink it. <laughs> this is not going to have them all. You're near. I... Is there anything that you hear besides eat meat? There's eating meat. There's uh, going and, and listening to the an unintelligible uh, story, uh, or there's um, the uh, the fire performance, or you could go and talk to any of these uh, folks who are themselves sharing uh, laughs and uh, uh, sharing food together, um, um, going from uh, party to party circle to party circle. Given that this has been like this, it isn't too dissimilar to festivals from in Mammoth that I would participate in. I probably just enjoy the meat kind of quietly and just sort of observe and, and kind of look around and sort of eat, like eat, eat by myself and just kind of take it all in. Queenie finds herself next to another campfire. Uh, yeah, I would have probably, uh, I think, ripped a piece of her shirt, or she would have ripped a piece of her shirt. And I have uh, all of these needles, and over the blood spots on her jumper, she's going to start sewing little um, little sunflowers. Okay. Oh. To kind of cover them up. Um, and that's all. Okay. Uh, and the next hour will pass with or without your participation uh, before, as the day progresses. So engage in what activities you want, and then you, 
the pattern of the day that they go and they do this specific order, this ritual in this particular way, these these activities in this particular way, uh, uh, and then taking the, the the young boy in a procession up to the next um, camp uh, until they make, make it to the way to the summit is becoming evident, uh, even at this early stage. How do we get more tokens? What, are, what can we participate in? <laughs> uh, you can do a fire performance, which starts <laughs> with uh, starting with fire. Not this guy. Or starting without fire. You have to start a fire from scratch all on your own, and then um, uh, make a performance, uh, a creative uh, uh, endeavor with the fire for this purpose. And you can see uh, others are participating. Uh, it seems to be like uh, there's a n- n- maximum number of players, and then uh, uh, the person who gives the best one and gets the loudest cheers is awarded the token by the adjudicator who is watching that particular behavior. I'd go up to the fire making <coughs> contest and just sort of take a look and see, kind of watch how they're doing it, and then if I feel like there's an opportunity to like kind of jump in, I might I'd, I'd give it a try. Okay. Um, you watch uh, as they um, uh, uh, very quickly put down the. Um, uh, some of them are doing the, the sort of classic thing. Others have uh, their own uh, striking stones. Um, you you watch them, and then they pick a branch or something like that, and they either do like a dance of, of spinning the fire or something along those lines. One of them gets a, 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 a does a really terrific uh, fireball out of their mouth using some of this uh, spirit that's right next to the um, uh, to this particular section of the of the uh, next to this particular game, and he um, wins the token. And you can see two other uh, dragonborn. Uh, uh, walk up, they seem to be engaged in this competition, and you'll be competing against them. And it's just building, there's two different competitions. Building there's fire building and, fire, and, okay. and then turning it into oh. a performance. Oh. I think I'd do it, even though I wouldn't really have any comps, like, uh, you know. like Here is a shadow puppet of a wolf. <laughs> your dude just wants to, to build a fire. Okay. <laughs> Um, I mean, the, your your speed at doing that and getting to the performance aspect is clearly one part of the judging criteria. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let me see what, let me see what kind of stuff I have. Roll for initiative. Oh. Uh, 12. Uh, you're actually first. <laughs> oh. uh, which means that you build the fire faster. Uh, the other two sit down, and as experienced as these uh, druids might be, um, you seem to uh, really know what you're doing when it comes to putting together a natural fire. And uh, very quickly, you go from smoke to uh, burning kindle to uh, uh, creating a, 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 a small campfire. And now that you have something burning in front of you, what do you do with it? Mm. Um... There's one here. Um, how it, it's it's like bright daylight, right? Like it's still the middle of the day. It's not even noon yet. So there's no like there wouldn't be shadows. Um, no, and I will also articulate that it's midday, but the sun hasn't shifted for. The, what you can see of the sun, it is still hanging in that same spot on the horizon. Oh, weird. Like at the edge. It's not like up in the sky at all? Nope, it's not doing this. It seems to be right there on the horizon. Um. I would probably like light a branch um, in, in the fire and what I would do is I would just sort of like I would I'd probably do something similar that I would have done in the past is like you know when you take a stick and you can kind of like do it fast mm-hmm. I would like kind of <laughs> try to do that but it probably, probably wouldn't work very well um, and I'll draw sort of shapes of animals and then mm. I'll use druid yeah. craft to like replicate the call of the animal Ooh. that I might do for like the, the village children or whatever just some sort of fun little make a performance check that's really good that's thing. really good yeah, I'm into it I was wondering when you were, where you were going with that mm. 
was almost a 14. Yeah, it was almost a 14. That's the log nut if I've ever seen it. Well, it's probably a <laughs> <laughs> Performance, you say, four. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to say that the others really, like, did a, a, a shitty job because I got a seven and a, an 11, and I was like, there's no way he's going to, uh-oh. Yeah, plus zero. <laughs> plus zero. Damn. They're doing, um, one of them is doing, like, the equivalent of devil sticks where he's lit both sides of the, uh, of the thing, and he's, like, doing this, like, flipping stuff. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he and he uh, uh, wins the token. Uh, better luck next time. <laughs> I just like building the fire. This <laughs> fire. That's what I do. Uh, a uh, dragonborn um, walks up to you, Barnabas. Oh. Uh, Juska. Oi. Miska. <laughs> no, my name is Juska. Oh. <laughs> 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 we're, just of, we're just a bunch of Neanderthals. Like, what's going on, man? I know this. Do you have uh, you have pipe? Oh yeah, I do have pipe. I uh, enjoy smoke myself. Oh, do you? <laughs> Would you care uh, uh, for some? Uh, what was it? <laughs> Fen- Fernwet rope. Fernwet rope. I have not heard this, but uh, it smells delicious. I thought maybe we trade. What do you got to smoke, my friend? Uh, can and make. Ooh. <laughs> and he holds up uh, a small pouch of his own, and it's this like dark, dark green, piney uh, uh, looking um, tobacco. Uh, and, and and it's. Um, okay. Uh, you, you give it a, a smell, and it has this sort of nutmeg, cream, spice, almost like an eggnoggy smell to it. You guys are just, uh, you know, smoking dope and slinging rope. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my memoirs. It's true stuff of scotch. I'm not there. I don't say that. <laughs> I have respect for this game. <laughs> Do you? Uh. Uh, he uh, uh, gestures and, uh, and and holds out some tobacco for you, and 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 he has his own uh, pipe, and you can, oh. uh, pack uh, can pack a uh, yeah. He takes some. I thought we were you, you, you puff off ass. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, he has okay. his own pipe, Stop and he's, on the rope. Uh, he he lights his own um, uh, pipe, and he takes a deep inhale. I've not had new tobacco for a long time. Thank you, thank you, friend. Uh, it's, it's my pleasure. It's always uh, nice to meet a friend who enjoys a good uh, long bottom leaf and a big ring, smoke ring. He blows out, and he and he is able to actually. Let's see if he can. Nope. Uh, he attempts to uh, uh, blow a smoke ring through a smoke ring, but uh, Ooh, he, oh, he mm. seems inexperienced with it. It's, it's a difficult been, maneuver. It's a difficult maneuver. I uh, I'm just going to presume that because I have control air and water, that that's something I can do. Oh wow! Yeah, you, you could probably <laughs> yeah. get even more creative. Yeah, yeah you, probably, you, you create a galleon that flies. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, yeah. oh yeah, that's really cool. Oh, have you seen this one before? An actual <laughs> galleon goes through the ring. Um, seeing this uh, revelry, this uh, merriment, uh, your creativity, um, someone rushes over and slaps a token in your hand. Oh, bullshit! <laughs> oh. That wasn't even a competition! Bullshit! Oh. Who's judging this shit? That's just unbelievable. I can't believe this. I don't even cheat this bad. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Here, I'll, I'll help you with your shitty tub. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Andy oh. is king of petty. <laughs> king of petty. <laughs> uh, I knew that was gonna get bookmarking that for favorite moments. <laughs> uh, this is still the second camp, correct? This is the second camp. Yeah, I'm still waiting to come down with this horrible trip. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stebbins got, how are you doing? Uh, oh, ne- never had a bottom bus. Uh, I'm doing good. And I'm still just shoveling, like, meat and, and drink into my mouth, like, alternating. Uh, and I'm really not focused on anything else. I'm very focused on the food at this camp. You know, Mr. Stebbins got, I've always been thinking. How, <laughs> if you're eating the eggshells. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you're not smashing them first. Uh, well, I mean, I smashed them when I put them in between my teeth and... Uh, but does that really count? I'm not quite sure. I don't it know. It could perhaps lead to witches in your stomach. <laughs> 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 ah, there's a run! <laughs> well, I've got two tokens! How many do you have? <laughs> oh, you're busy! Oh, you're busy! I'll come back later! <laughs> you weren't here! <laughs> At this very moment, 
comment from all of the, from all of the food that you've eaten at this very moment is when your stomach chooses to like grumble, and to your ears it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was my best Nikki. <laughs> what do you mean? Is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? I can't see you here. Some people hurt? can't take their snake venom. <laughs> Is everything okay? What can I do? I explained the witch situation in extreme detail. <laughs> oh, you have witches in your and I don't realize how, <laughs> I don't I don't realize how loud I'm talking, and the entire camp can hear me screaming about witches in my stomach. It's, the, I didn't... it's the witchuation. Yes, exactly, exactly. I'm gonna look like a really grave. And I'll just say, scream, I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I, I, like, kind of collapse, like, onto the ground, I begin to, like, sob, and, like, I can't move, and, you know, I'm just like... Yeah, the, the, this is... Your my pe- limbs feel like cement. You're peeking now. I, I like... <laughs> I, like, I feel like I'm melting, but also simultaneously very heavy, and I, like, can't get up. Ah, what a world, what a world, I'm melting! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 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 you guys keep looking at me. What do you guys do? Oh, right, what else can I do for a token? Oh, I feel like I need, uh, you know, threes of the charm, as they say. Give a gift. Ah, gift. Who wants a gift? Well, I'm one of the kids. Uh, darts away from the uh, story of the movie. Here's the story. Uh, the, the, the term uh, gift. And um, ah. he, he runs up. Uh, oh, how, what, what's your name? And my name is Barnabas Dreadway. What's your name, young man? Uh, my name is uh, Onism. Onism? <laughs> I don't know why that sounds naughty. I don't know. I don't know why. It just does. Hey. I don't know. Well, well, I'm no surgeon, but I'm pretty sure that uh, an old crewmate of mine, Tomb, suffered from Onism. <laughs> Fancy lad. <laughs> what would I fancy? That's a fantastic question. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Is that like shiny stuff? Like toys? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, don't have toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have just the thing. Oh, I think I see something behind your... Well, not your ear, like your... <laughs> Head ridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think I see something? You got something stuck? Oh no! All here, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll reach behind my back. He <laughs> clearly roll. reaches behind with a coin on his palm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we'll see how he rolls. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll roll a sleight of hand. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's bad. No, it's actually really Damn. shockingly Brilliant. good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Twenty-one. You. Produced the coin. Like I'm not it, saying it was a coin. It stuck, it stuck right at uh, well, whatever you whatever yeah. you palmed got something. Hidden, uh, yeah, yeah, you've got it. Palm something. You've palmed something, and you're doing the classic. Yeah. Oh, oh! It's all coming out of your ears. And I reveal a big handful of ancient estuary <laughs> seasoning. <laughs> Amazing. The greatest spice in all the seas and lands of Avantris. Are now yours, young Onitis. <laughs> <laughs> whatever your name is. Onism. 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 Oh my garbage name. <laughs> God, I got my parents to say Onism. All the people who say Onism are so offended. <laughs> If you're watching this and your name is Onism, <laughs> about so sorry. Uh, about twenty feet away. Onism is the John uh, of this. Uh, Scrim, Scrim is on the ground, like pinned to the ground, like, but, like <laughs> and he sees what's kind of happening at the corner of his eye. And he says, "Eat it, eat it." Uh, there you go. It's delicious. It's like a, a poof of orangish seasoning. 
at them just like that. Barnabas, come sprinkle some over on me. It's just a little bit. Makes me a little ancient. How you feeling there, Mr. Stabiscoach? I'm never better. There you go. Ah, thank you. Okay. No, not too much. <laughs> you need water, friend. It's enough. You are here. Now we need water. Oh, you do not earn an additional token. I will say. Uh, the boy just walks away silently and like goes back to listen to this. Like he like he doesn't have a taste for old uh, ancient estuary. Oh, yeah. and, Some uh, people don't have any taste. Uh, he walks back and he continues to enjoy the the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't laugh anymore. <laughs> you gotta toughen up those laughter muscles. For yeah, oh, you're gonna be God. in trouble. Oh no. Um, I I would put notice down on the um, place laid out for him, mm-hmm. not letting it go unnoticed that it was uh, preserved or presented in a in a different format. Um, and it wasn't just like bare rock; it was dressed up. Uh, and I think hearing the the story begin, presumably, um, I would edge within earshot of it uh, and try and listen in as long as I don't have to move too far away. Oh, um, you're catching. Make a perception check. Hmm. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, sitting where you're sitting, um, the wind howling, uh, you are able to catch some, but not all words, and it also requires some translation. Mm. Um, you know, there's a, a big difference between the silver dra- dragonborn uh, nature of Draconic and what you're familiar with, uh, mm. having grown in such uh, for so many centuries, maybe millennia in such different regions, there would necessarily be deviations in the uses of language. Mm. What, uh, some people say soda and others say pop, right? Mm. What's pop if you don't know the word pop means soda. Um, but you get taste. Goes the weasel. Uh, the frozen wastes, bountiful lands of the Argent people spread even further than their dreams of conquest. Something, something. Led by the morning stars, the dreams of all good folk are haunted by a dusk that never comes. <coughs> the beasts of the night run mad. Something, something. Oh, threatening to drag mortal kind into the oblivion they know is coming. Something, something. Winged beast, a dragon of ice, emboldened by the coming furies. Chaos everywhere. Something, moving on. Starlight disappeared back into the pine forests and grassy plains. Common folk left to languish with no guidance. Ringing mountain halls, always so close to broad lands, now quiet. Do our lords and ladies yet live? Even the once mortals know not. The morning stars march ever onwards. Hope glistens. Brilliance. Strength. Heroism. Love. We are not them. You have already passed onwards into the stars. And... The story continues as you get these fleeting details, and it continues to sort of weave this story of you can't tell if it's a, a fairy tale for children or if it's a, a history lesson. It, 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 is it both? Perhaps some sort of mythic uh, 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 um, Aesop's fable. But you enjoy the poetry of the language as it's being told. This is a horrible children's story. It, what's the makeup of the the people in front of me? Um, there's the woman who's a telling story the story. And like a bunch and of kids. And then there's a bunch of kids. There's, uh, uh, I'd say, four to six children of different um, sexes. Okay. Uh, I would wait until the, the story ends uh, and then uh, attempt to cut in and see if I could... Uh, 
Pardon me. Do you mind if I take the stage? Oh, Governor, please, my my uh, uh be my <clears throat> guest. Yes, uh, I was just finishing um uh, uh, uh into the stars, children. Uh, please, uh, your name? Tai Shen. My name is Onism. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family name. <laughs> He's gone. He's done. Look, he's done. It's over. He's just got to tap out. He's just got to tap out. I'm done. And then she invites you with a wave to talk to the children. <laughs> Good luck, noise them. Um, <clears throat> I cast Barbarian Inspiration on you. Uh... I would like to attempt to tell a a better sto- a better story in, from my perspective, a brighter story, uh-huh. a story of when the the darkened clouds of uh, you know a uh, like a threatening uh, storm attempted to come to the Jade Shell Village, and uh, instead the bright brilliant light of Fu Zhao came and was able to banish the darkness and, and swirl in a warm blanket of uh, safety and uh, mystic comforts and tell the, the tale of a land uh, that recognizes a different way uh, that enjoys Tea and similar games, uh, but one where the sun rises of its of its own ability, of its own strength, uh, and and uh, one that light shines freely for for all who would but bask in its in its radiant power. Make a performance check at advantage. That was really beautiful, Tashi. Oh. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> well, especially like the part in uh, in Jade Soul Village where <clears throat> Ookin Dookers. <laughs> I just said that reference. <laughs> well, I really uh, like that part. A 17. 17. It is. Um, it's good. Uh, it takes a little time to warm up, but by the time you uh, get going, it passed the first act of your story. Uh, the kids are on the edge of their um, seats. Not that they have seats, they're sitting sort of uh, cross-legged in front of you, but uh, you can tell how engaged they are by their story. And by the time you're done, um, they are uh, uh, filled with uh, hope and excitement uh, over uh, the, the new imagination uh, that you've given them. They, they have new ideas in their childlike minds. And uh, so, so many of them are, are excited that Um, three of them run up and give you, you one of their tokens each. This is shit. <laughs> you know what? I think, I think story time's a good idea. Kids, you want to hear a poem? Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Scrim, how many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like covered in frosty ancient cherries. He's still just sprinkling on me. And I like, ah. Orange frost. You leave, down you the leave Scrim alone. He's trying to eat his ancient estuary. All right, kids. Well, thank you, kids. Thank you. This is a tale from my homeland of Yona. He came to town like a midwinter storm. He rode through the field so handsome and strong. His eyes was his tools and his smile was his gun. But all he had come for was having some fun. He brought disaster wherever he went. The hearts of the girls was to hell broken scent. They all ran away so nobody would know and left only men because of Cottontail Joe. (laughs) If it hadn't been for Cottontail Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cottontail Joe? All the kids like riot. <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where Make did he a go? performance. Uh, check it out. <laughs> did you say an advantage? Yep. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do. 
<laughs> wow, done! Holy so shit! So twenty-two. Uh, you get four tokens in this moment. This is so rigged. <laughs> Tashan, would you mind passing me those four tokens from these beautiful children here? Of Scrim, how many you got? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just said to leave Scrim alone. Oh. He's looking fine. <laughs> it is time. We have to go. And uh, you hear, you feel a tap on the back of your shoulder, Taishan, as uh, uh, Canopsia, the voice of reason, uh, and the procession uh, uh, taps you and says, it is time for us to take the boy and make our way to camp. Are you ready? I'm sorry, I was still laughing. I missed it. (laughs) They want you to take the boy and head to the next camp. I am ready. You told a very beautiful story. Thank you. The children will remember it for centuries to come. I... I... have seen you celebrate. I've seen you treat people with respect and open arms, and I... I deeply want to believe that you are not evil. And I, I, I want to think that you're just products of a, a harsh land. It is a harsh land. I hope that by the end of midwinter that we will be allies oh. I wouldn't hold your breath but I don't think we'll be enemies look and he takes his thumb and he closes one eye and he points it at the sun and you can <clears throat> see what he's doing. He's comparing the size of his thumb to the sun on the horizon. And looking at it, has it shrunk? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Has the sun shrunk? It's still in that same spot on the horizon, and it's, it seems like it's receding. Come, we have to go. Take the boy and let us make our way. I beg you're near to carry me because I'm convinced my limbs don't work. What does that sound like? <laughs> it's mostly gargling. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of ancient Azure is heavy. In yeah, I'm just it's like matted in, in your hair. <laughs> it's like just on your chest. Please, 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 let's camp. I need more meat. All right. All right, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll grab you like by your collar. I'll pull him up and I'll just carry him. Like it's have him dangling. Like I'm foaming at the mouth like a crab. <laughs> <laughs> and he's posing like a scarecrow. Um, it's over the next 40, uh, 50 minutes that you are circling around the mountain. Uh, as she comes, as she comes. Uh, so you make your way uh, to the back side. Now, uh, uh, the sh- um, the. Sh- shadow side of this mountain is where the next outcropping appears to be and it is completely submerged in darkness as uh dim as the light is getting it is uh still being hit, the front of the mountain is still being hit by sunlight this is on the that shaded side and um it's about halfway through that you're being jostling that you start to like sober up and huh. the the um, duck in your in your stomach seems to be digesting and giving you strength again, and you almost feel like your your normal self by the time you oh. they, you reach this new destination. That's great. Eventually, I will walk on my own accord, and I will thank you only very profusely. Uh, I'm good. You can put me down now. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, knees are a little wobbly, but I'm all right. I'm all good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have witches in your blood? I don't think so. That was kind of a rili- ridiculous notion. I don't, I don't know where that even came from. But right. I don't want to talk about it. Barnabas and Scrim, perception checks. At uh, advantage. Ow, my fucking finger. Ooh, I only got a 15 this time. Yeah, yeah, 15. Oops. First caption, 24. <clears throat> um... 
24. Uh, red wine braised short rib oh with, blistered, <laughs> with blistered tomatoes, buttered and spiced grain spirits, and a shot of water. Grain spirits, you say? Uh, you had me at short rib. Uh, they rush to the bench where uh, the food is. Um, and get as, out of my way! <laughs> um, <laughs> and the number of druids is growing. It seems that uh, there there are druids in each camp who are um, prepping for the coming procession uh, to to uh, receive the boy in the the, the rear of this camp uh, of this circle of druids, while others our. Um, uh, are, are collecting. So the crowd is getting bigger and bigger and rowdier and rowdier as they collect and make their way up in a train-like fashion uh, around the mountain to the summit during this great ascent. So it's getting louder, more boisterous. People are, hi, 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 um, uh, cheering and, and screaming. And you can see, in addition to people loving the food and drink, uh, that uh, there is a uh, one major activity here, spin dizzy star finding. People are putting their head against uh, rods and mm. turning as quickly as possible. And then when the um, uh, the sound goes off, a, a, a great clap from the from the judge. They look into the sky and they are uh, then told what constellation they, they need to find. It's Ooh. the middle of the day, but it's now dim enough that you can actually spot out wow. some of these major constellations. And uh, they are uh, laughing and, and crying at, uh, from laughter as they um, fall over from the spins and uh, still trying to figure out exactly where the star field is going. Additionally, you can see all the way on the other side of the, uh, the uh, this outcropping that um, there's a person who is using their uh, silver dragonborn breath to cool these brands mm. and give each other these marks on their body, Ooh. these very specific uh, or uh, elaborate, uh, uh, almost like tattoo-like marks on, on each other's body. And there's a, a line of people uh, excited um, to uh, mark this midwinter as special, uh, possibly because they have guests or just because they feel like another brand this year. Um, that is what you find yourself staring at as you make your way. I do not rush to the food and the drink. Oh. I charge the Yornir first. I say, uh, <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, Yornir, I, I, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, uh, my, my fingers are no longer uh, two and a half feet long, so I, I feel like I'm in the right uh, mind to, to start off by saying, uh, one, thank you for, for carrying me, and, and two, I, I apologize uh, if I was a little out of control. Um, the conversation that we had back in the, uh, the, 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 the hot pool, I've been thinking about it a lot, uh, especially while I was gargling my own teeth, and, uh, you know, it really set in what you said to me, and, and, and I, I believe that you wouldn't have any reason to, to lie to me, but I, I'm not quite sure what the implications of, of dying and, and, and coming back are here in these lands. I, I don't even know what that could mean. Do you? Unfortunately, I do not. This is why I was concerned when you first... Her. This wasn't. I've seen. I know that powerful druids can return life to the dead. Perhaps this was an extension, but this, your hunger, it feels too connected to the beast. Something definitely doesn't feel right. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't scared. But. I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of caught up in the events of today, and I know that there's a that poor kid, and I'm hoping beyond all hope that what they say is true, and he'll be back. But all I know is at the end of the day, I, I haven't seen the other beast since I've been here. And to me, things could be worse, you know? That is good news, and I may have thought that it was related to their own past if the same had not happened to Barnabas, but given that it did, I think you're right. Either way, both of you are alive, both of you are not undead, I confirm that, and perhaps we can find a way to cure or at least help your hunger. Yeah, for now I'll just uh, try to stave it off, but uh, yeah, 
I, uh, again, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little concerned about what it might mean for our future voyage. <laughs> well, if anything changes, please let me know. Yeah. It may be degenerative. We do not know yet. Uh, perhaps oh, it no. starts off where you have a hunger and you will slowly turn into some kind of horrible creature. <laughs> Uh, after some amount of time, if you are not fe feeding on the right things... Oh, uh, good. <laughs> okay. Or perhaps it is some kind of... Uh, perhaps incurable infection. Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, well, you know, this was great. Um, I'm gonna go help myself <laughs> to some of that meat, and uh, I think, uh, you know, I've always wanted a tattoo. Uh, considering we may never uh, get off this uh, godforsaken land. Uh, what's, what's the harm, right? What's the harm? Right, you are. Thank you. Well, tattoos can come with a series of infections if they're not cared for properly. Oh, boy. Um, wow. Especially if you're out in the wilderness, there are all kinds of bacteria that can uh, attach themselves to the wound and begin to eat away at the flesh. It can be really dangerous. And I thought the kid, dead kid was a buzzkill. Uh, <laughs> yeah, gonna go get the meat, and uh, you know what? Uh, you only live once. Wait, wait, these are just circular chicken frogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's the greatest story of it all. You guys, are, you guys are great. I can always count on all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I'm going to go get meat, and then I'm going to get in line for a tattoo. Okay, you do that. What are the rest of you doing? All right, kids, you ready for another, uh, ready for another poem? They are with the profession. Oh. All I'm right. standing listening very intently. You, you, you form a circle, and there were kids who hadn't been at the low, little outcropping that have run in, and, and joined hands with their friends who have now come up. And uh, they're like, oh, you gotta listen. This is the best. It's the best. Now, the last one I read to you is a common one from my hometown of Yona. This is one I have written in the company of Scrim, Barnabos, <laughs> Yornir, and Tashin. Who's when that? They're the, the four people I'm here with. Oh, okay. Yeah. When too many beans end up in your gut, they can make you yodel with your butt. So please don't let the badger loose squelch the honk of that trouser goose. <laughs> don't let old Fluffy off the chain or let rip with a choo-choo train. That's the whole thing. Kelsey somewhere is doubled over <laughs> laughter. She doesn't know why. <laughs> That's um, all. The kids react with part confusion, and others are like dying laughing. They are uh, uh, even the ones who are confused are clearly loving it. It's about flatulence, kids. Make a performance check. <laughs> Trouser goose will never not get me for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a few different types of trouser geese. You know what I mean. <laughs> Eleven. One of the new kids throws you a token. Um, nice. And, but uh, they're like, more, more, lo longer story. We oh, like the... Oh, you got one. You, Queenie's so good at this. But do you all like scary, spooky poetry? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this one is told in a number of taverns about a horrible, terrible being that you hope you never encounter. In all the days of your life that you sailed the seven seas. You ready? How many of there are you? Y'all got tokens? Just like eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. Her skin is pale. Her eyes are red. Her siren voice commands the dead <gasps> to rise and sail beside their dreadful queen. No mortal power escapes her thrall. Her hunger will consume us all. And even now I hear her call, Jolie. <laughs> her teeth are sharp, her mouth agape. Her claws rend flesh, there's no escape from the judgment of the Eldritch One, Jolie. <laughs> they scream about her in their sleep, and when they wake, does not but weep in terror of the one they call Jolie. 
blackening the summer skies with burning wings and countless eyes. We tremble at the sight of you, Jolene. <laughs> we cower here beneath your gaze that sets the earth and sky ablaze. Have mercy at the end of days, Jolene. <laughs> Make a performance check of advantage. Uh, I don't remember Dolly Parton saying that one. Holy God. shit! Well yeah. done. Holy shit. Somewhere Dolly Parton's laughing and she doesn't know what. Yeah. <laughs> Natural 20. Go. Oh, oh, go. So Cotton Eye Joe and Jolene are just magic. Yeah. Apparently. Jolene. Jolene. Uh, Jolene. Where, uh, oh, where's the oh, pr- pr- uh, performance? 20. 20. Um, roll a d4 and take that many because some of the kids have already just given up the what tokens they had to Taishan. Three! And They're also sh- so scared shitless. Three, three of them still had some tokens on them. One kid loved it so much because he loves scary stories, he gives you two. And, uh, uh, they, they, they are absolutely just loving it. Um, in this moment, uh, Tai Shen and Yornir, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yornir has no hope. <laughs> <laughs> I have no hope. Uh, I just don't want the song to blow out. Yeah. Do, I guess that's a good question. Do I <laughs> notice? I have no hope. Have I noticed that the sun's gotten any smaller? I would say make an interest check at advantage. <clears throat> uh. 14 plus 5 plus 1, or, yeah, so... Mega. Monster. So a dirty 20. Uh, With a dirty 20, um, (sighs) it's when you have passed into the shadow of the mountain. You were uh, 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 trying to make sure that your friends were protected, worried about the this new group of people. They seemed uh, like um, they had their own rituals, their own traditions and everything, but still keeping an eye on everything to make sure that it was not danger. And then in starting to get engaged with some of the games, making a fire, these sorts of things. But passing into the shadow of the mountain, you look up and this is the middle of the early afternoon, this is midday, and stars are in the sky in this way. There's no explanation for it and looking at the horizon it's almost as if you are stuck in a a twilight or a dawn now it does seem evident that the sun is dimming this is fucked up i would be very concerned with that but i wouldn't i wouldn't bring it up to anybody um and i guess i would be looking up almost like as if i was stargazing with the rest of them but not necessarily trying to compete um, and I would just sort of be looking for every, I, I would probably be too concerned to like keep enjoying myself and I'll just sort of look for any other evidence as we're going through and as, as time's passing, any more evidence that like the sun's shrinking or that thing, like the world's ending, whatever. Okay. Uh, I would lay notice down and I would look to see if I could tell the story, uh, if I could find the storyteller from before. From camp two. Yeah, you, right uh, here. <clears throat> you, uh, you, you find her right away. Um, it, 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 she's actually enjoying some food uh, <laughs> and <laughs> glad to be taking a break. She seems to be the sort of designated like storyteller and entertainer of the children, and she's just like on her lunch break now, uh, having having uh, been exhausted from the morning activity. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yes. May, may I join you for a moment? You may. Please have a seat. Also with her. Um, I heard your story from before. I've never heard anything quite like it. You spoke of, uh, I don't know all the exact details, but the... <laughs> no, I know. I, I like to do that where I throw a bunch of crazy noise at you and it's like, find the signal. <laughs> yeah. You spoke of, uh, Thanks. the dawn fathers and creatures of the night that would come and take people away if they did not come and, and chase them back into their uh, lairs. Oh, you Jolene. <laughs> how, how did you come upon this story? Is this a fable of your own creation? It is a story that has been repeated for many generations. It is a story of our people. The nature of the dawn and the creatures and chasing is a metaphor, a symbol to soften the story of 
What happened to our civilization? Many centuries ago, we were a proud people that sprawled across Drakkar. We soften this tale for the children, but you should know that it is because of the Princess of Wrath that we are so few that this land has been taken from us. And only we are here because we have bound ourselves to this land. If, if not for that, we would be gone entirely. <clears throat> You mean the white dragon she hunts you? I don't understand. Oh yes. It is uh, what it was her will to see us erased. Erased from existence as though we never were here to live under car in the first place. Such was her wrath. And did she cause you to make these sacrifices does she in some way hold sway over the the dawn no these are not connected she is on her own path though it has been far too long since we have learned of her doings her comings and goings she never visits this place she wouldn't be able to find it if she wanted to. But the dimming of the sun is as old as history itself. At least in Durkar, we know that we must follow these steps in this order, or there will be no spring, no rebirth. Have you ever not have done it. We have failed to take the steps. It is a long year before one can try again. Okay. I'll let you get back to your meal. Have you been offered a gift? Yes. For I've not yet accepted. Well, perhaps. She reaches into her pouch and she pulls out uh, a small bundle, a little bundle with a leather strap that that connects it, and she undoes the knot and pulls it aside. Would would this interest you? I see the teapot hanging on your backpack there, and this is a. A very rare and exotic tea that is special to our people. And you look in, there's a. Uh, I just got my number. <clears throat> birch leaf, thyme, fennel, and heather. If you take a smell, you yeah, get the sense that it would have a very bitter taste on the mouth at first, but a long evolution. Uh, a very pleasant and warming feeling. <clears throat> oh, uh, I've never smelled anything like this before. Hmm. I mean, I guess if you have extra. It would be my pleasure. <sighs> well, thank you. I would be interested to learn more in, in, in your ways, Taishen. Perhaps there are more pleasures we could share. <coughs> Here in the shadow of the mountain. <laughs> oh, <stop it. laughs> um I would I would love to tell you more of where I come from. Maybe I don't know, show show you a different way. I've visited your land and I I would love if Sometime, maybe we get through all of this and you can come to my home in Jane Shell. <laughs> and uh, just see what it's like in the warmer climes. But we can start enjoying this tea together. 
let us make tea. And if you uh, change your mind, there is a cave opening just... <laughs> Whoa! And as they say in, in Jade Show Villas, get ooked in the duker. <laughs> yes, that is a saying of our people. If you want, I can, I can recite a poem to get you in the mood. Let's start with the tea. <laughs> <laughs> She starts with the tea, and <laughs> it's at this point, after waiting for what feels like forever in line. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 my turn. I'm yes, ready? Yes, come up, come up. Okay, um, I, well, I just have a couple questions first. I waited in a really long line. I feel like you at least owe me a little information. First, uh, is this like a, like a, like how permanent is this tattoo? Like, this is life, like, lifetime forever. Oh, so like a real tattoo with ink. Oh, okay, good. No, I'm It's not we're... tattoo. It's cold brand. Cold brand. All right, so it's going to hurt? Yes, it hurts very much. Oh, God, I waited in the whole line. Uh, okay, you know what? Then we'll move forward. Um, what does the tattoo say? I, I, I really don't want this to be a situation where I tell you I want a tattoo that says, like, strength, and then in reality I go back home and it says chicken or, like, fried rice. That's kind of fucked up, you know? He gestures and uh, there's a barrel. And out are uh, dozens of metal rods. Yeah. And you can, uh, he pulls one out and uh, twists it around and then, and then and it uh, shows you and examines oh, exam- it. It's is not cold yet. It's, it's, oh. it's fine. Okay. This, this is the symbol <laughs> is for the 36th fine. week. Oh, oh! so we're, we're just commemorating the day. No, it's... Uh, what? What is your birth week? Oh! Uh, uh, oh! No, no one's ever asked me that before. I, I mean, I, I, I came from like a clutch of like 900 goblins. I, I, we don't really celebrate birthdays. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, My magical room. Uh, I, uh, now I'm all a tizzy. I don't even know what where to begin. Uh, you, you do not know birthday? Nah, I mean, well, you know, I just kind of celebrate once a year whenever I feel like it. Uh, every day is my birthday, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think uh, perhaps midwinter for you this, oh. this week. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Yeah, this seems like a pretty special day, you know. And uh, who knows? There may never, there may not be another tomorrow. So uh, hit me. Well, uh, where did most people get these? Where do you want it? Well, uh, upper body for sure. Uh, <laughs> just thinking maybe the bicep or uh, right on my uh, pectoral muscle. Uh, he yells over. It's very uh, fleshy and strong. Opia, Kaisa, and two ladies uh, uh, show what? up. And what, what are they uh, for? They don't say a word, but they immediately start like working their hands around your uh, uh, your muscles, oh, like oh, actually like oh. touching you and giving you like oh. a massage, warming you up. Oh, sorry, ladies, I'm this, just a little nervous. This is to, it's very specifically to release the pheromones and not just relax your body, but to wake your body up to what is to come. And oh. you can see as this is happening, <laughs> yes. he is. All right, well, this is fine day at first. Blowing day first. this very, very <sighs> focused, uh, cold breath. Yeah, okay. And you can see the actual end of the metal start to grow, go, go from iron black to uh, colder and colder and colder, and it turns a light blue, <gasps> almost as light blue as the oh. cloaks that all of these druids wear. Is it common for me to have second thoughts at this point? <laughs> 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 it's just there for a moment, but the pain is blinding. It actually stings all the way to the bone and it, it hurts. And you get the midwinter week uh, symbol uh, that you saw on, this, on, on, the, on the 48th stone of the, uh, uh, right here on the, on the chest. You pass it. Um, and Woo, break 2022! Do you mind uh, hitting me in the lower back too? Like that? You take uh, six damage. I call that one the tramp you stamp. Take six oh. damage. Okay, done. <laughs> uh, cold, cold damage. Do we heal from the stuff from the bath or no? The oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. She said that like as wasn't soon as you like went into the bath. Health. As soon as you went into the bath, it, you went all the way back okay. to maxing feet. All right. <laughs> you probably this is a long rest. But... <laughs> Queenie. Yeah. Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy the? You, you've been telling stories. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I made some beans. Okay. Okay. Um. Then uh, I would propose that we move to the next. I would camp, like. I would like to, midnight. <laughs> I would like to try the star thing. If that's a quick. Oh, quick oh yeah, yeah. That's easy. Yeah, I've, Spin uh, game. I've navigated by the stars, fall down drunk on rum. <laughs> I think I can play some little game. You. 
jump in line, and four or five of you uh, uh, are, are allowed into really the circle, fast, and <laughs> I can't find it. Where's the rules for this? One moment. Ah, okay. Um, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to make a perception check at disadvantage after uh, spinning around uh, j- just like you would with a baseball bat uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. with your forehead against one of these sticks, uh, turning and turning and turning and turning, and then they yell out one of the constellations, and what amazes you is that uh, of all the constellations you've been hearing while you observe people playing this game, there some, seem to be some universals in Avandris. Mm-hmm. If someone says the crab, then you look and they, we, they, we're all in agreement of what that constellation looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so crab. you know that the uh, yeah, I mean it looks, it looks like a fucking crab. It looks like a fucking crab, loser. Um, so you can you can share in the nice activity without having long. to learn their own constellation history and names. Boy, that'd be so good with ancient estuary. <laughs> And, uh, so you'll have to make it a disadvantage because of the uh, piece, but you'll uh, roll against the group. Twelve. A two and a one. Whoa! Oh, that's uh, kind of like that's twelve. 12. Yeah. You turn. Yeah, that's that's right. You turn and you uh, 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 glance up at the sky, and just as the, at that moment, uh, you hear um, the unicorn yelled out, and uh, you happen to be looking right at it. And even though they streak across the sky, um, uh, almost like trails of light, because of the dizziness, you uh, it's no different than when you've had some of your late uh, grog nights uh, on a mm-hmm. ship, and you. Point right at it. Whatever! Majestic creature. And you can take an additional touch. Uh, beans. <laughs> and Point. Uh, you enjoy your tea with the young miss. Uh, mm-hmm. We leave the rest of that uh, encounter to the imagination of any. And the five of you, uh, the six of you, Daisy has been enjoying activities. She walks Me, up to you and sure. she's clearly got a, uh, a cold brand on her arm as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. She, uh, she, she's like, <laughs> oh, stand to stop. Oh. Uh, and she has a different mark on her. Uh, she knew her birth week. And uh, the five of you are, are swept up in the procession, starts to make your way up to what is the final camp before the summit. You round the corner uh, uh, and escape the shadow of the mountain, and uh, you're now on its northern face. And it's here at this outcropping, you can see, uh, is the one of the largest so far. Uh, tremendous number of activities. People are enjoying um, what looks like a dessert. Uh, uh, puddings and, and honey, uh, brown sugar, uh, lemon, cim- cinnamon, uh, and there's uh, some sort of a liqueur being passed around that uh, it's already on the air it smells very sweet, especially to you, Scrim, and to you, Barnabas. Uh, it, it, the food so far has all been delectable, and uh, it seems that they saved the best for last. Um, across the outcropping, the five of you, the six of you, including Daisy, your um, uh, mute friend, uh, you uh, can see that there are people creating um, what looks like uh, 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 wreaths out of uh, pine uh, uh, needle material. You can see uh, there, there are people on a, uh, who are sitting cross-legged and facing each other, and they have strings attached to their ears, and they are pulling almost in a tug-of-war sense, uh, uh, doing this ear pull. They're, they're grimacing, looking like they're, they're struggling to, uh, uh, to see who breaks first. Uh, you can also see um, there's a, a hill that goes up uh, almost to the summit, uh, and there are people uh, readying uh, uh, at the top of the hill when suddenly someone pushes a cheese wheel and it starts to <laughs> roll down the side of the hill, and all of a sudden they are off in a race attempting to try to capture this uh, uh, rolling wheel as it bounces off the rocky cliff face. Uh, you can also see um, there are uh, uh, druids on, in, in another corner, and they're playing some sort of game where they transform into uh, 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 beasts, uh, very specifically. Uh, in addition, there's a, a, a soup with uh, some sort of thick, brothy um, uh, meat, uh, veggies, and puff pastry uh, d- dumplings. It, it, this is the all-out camp before everyone finally uh, gets to the summit in order to uh, plead with the sun to retor- return the child and return itself. All right, y'all ready for another poem? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like your poems, Queenie. Thanks, it's really the best I can do. All right, kids, 
the kids uh, word has spread, and every gather single, around. Every single kid, and even a few adults, are now sitting down, uh, readying for the next poem. Have your parents told you about love? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the birds and the bees. Bees, and I open up my honey pot, ah. and the bees fly up and create a heart. Wow! Wow! wow you know what, bees? Wow. Why don't you help me with this one? This is a love poem. It goes out to all y'all who've had your first loves. Susie Lee done fell in love. She planned to marry Joe. She was so happy about it all, she told her pappy so. Pappy told her, Susie gal, you'll have to find another. I'd just assume your ma don't know, but Joe is your half-brother. <laughs> so Susie put aside her Joe and planned to marry Will. But after telling pappy this, he said, there's trouble still. You can't marry, marry Will, my gal, and please don't tell your mother. But Will and Joe and several mo, I know is your half-brother. <laughs> but Mama knew and said, my child, just do what makes you happy. Marry Will or marry Joe, you ain't no kin to Pappy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That's the whole thing. Make a performance oh, check. Shit. Have advantage. That is brutal. <laughs> What a sad tale. Oh, poor <laughs> Damn. Poor everyone in that story. Oh, I think Pappy got a real... <laughs> Fifteen. Got the short end of the uh, stick. Take two uh, tokens. That's, Thank you. That's satisfying. You pass me two? Wow. I won't make you roll for it. Well, there you go, kids. That is your, uh, I guess, your your poem for this tier. Cautionary tale. It's your cautionary tale. Make sure you know who you're marrying. Um, they're already <laughs> begging for more. What are the rest of you doing? I immediately walk up to the druids. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, what are we doing here? <laughs> uh, hello, how do you do, oh, fellow druids? <laughs> what, what is your name? Uh, I am called Bjorn. I am uh, uh, Rukarun. 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 Yes. So I was almost got excited that your name was kind of like Rune. Well, and he looks at you and he gives you kind of a an odd look for a moment, and then he smiles. Rist ek fil runar? And you're blown away that this is the first, <laughs> this is a Mamushan saying. It, it is uh, 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 the the first half of a call and response. And uh, the first half is carve the rune for help, a question. And do you know that the response is rist ek ja runar? Uh, to carve the rune to protect. Rist ek ta ja runar? Ah, from Mammut, yeah? Yeah, yes, yes. How do you know this? I traveled the, the, the world long, long time ago, and I found myself uh, on the other side of the world, and I found myself in Mammut. It's a great land. Did you happen to... While you were in Mammut, did you happen to go to Yorn? Uh, uh, this is where I, I learned the phrase that I spoke of. Uh, uh, yes, of course. This is where my clan is from. It's where I was born and raised. It is uh, It's nice to... I have not heard that in several months. It is a, a, a pleasure. A gift for you, I think. And he reaches down and he pulls out a bow. And uh, I this... We've kept in our family for a long time. It's a small twig, really. But you can see that winding around this is mistletoe. My eyes get <laughs> wide. <laughs> I may have this. I found it in uh, the uh, uh, another land. Uh, I, I gift it to you. Yes, that is what gift means. I will accept, yes. Take, take it with uh, 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 my pleasure. Would you like to play uh, a game? Yes, I wish I had more to give you. Unfortunately, it's been a rough couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look you look clean and well now. Yes, he's we... covered in kid blood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got a hot tub. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, if you have the ability to change into beast, we play a game of uh, cat, mouse, and dog. I will play this game. You choose in your mind which uh, form you wish to assume. <laughs> Mouse befriends dog. Dog chases cat. And cat catches mouse. All right, I believe I understand the game, yes. 
Let us do this. He walks over to what is like a makeshift little arena and uh, uh, stares you down, uh, 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 starting to like get a read on you, try to get, try to get a sense of you. And you can do uh, mouse, which is uh, thumb in, thumb in like like so. You can do um, cat. Which is uh, the uh, uh, yeah the devil horns, okay. or you can do uh, dog the the nose of like a, a snout. A snout. Oh god, this is giving me PTSD from shadow puppeting with Rich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yes, um, understand? Yes. Okay. On. Go after. One, two, three. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. And Go. he wild shape and become a cat. And he transforms into a dog and immediately starts chasing you around the circle. And he accepts a token from the judge after immediately wild shaping out. Another? Oh, you got me, yes. Let us try. We'll try again. Yes. <laughs> Just one more. <laughs> Double or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Double or nothing. Two out of three. Yeah. One, one two, two, three. three. <gasps> and oh. you, you are free. He, he sniffs around and uh, you are able to jump onto his back and uh, 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 crawl around as a mouse before... I'm going to scratch uh, with my little mouse hands. You start pulling his hair and he becomes a master chef. <laughs> 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 and you're awarded a token for your... Uh, nice! For Shit! Your... I don't, I'm not tokenless! <laughs> yeah. Scrim's already resolved himself to being tokenless. Taishin, Barnabas, Scrim, what are you guys doing? Uh, uh, you know, guys, I... I was really hoping that these games would be more, uh, you know, games of chance, aka things I could cheat at. <laughs> ah, it is. Uh, I, look, I know when I've met my match. I know uh, when, uh, you know, when the odds I did, are not in my favor. I did notice that you became quite crestfallen when they said they were actually games of skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I know when I've been bested. So, uh, I'm going to go get a drink. Oh, that's, I feel like that's part of the uh, festival, is it not? You know, i uh, not really entirely sure uh, how today's going to shake out, you know? So uh, I'm just trying to enjoy myself for now and yeah. uh, hoping beyond hope. You know, I'm starting to, to believe, though, that these folk aren't trustworthy. What makes you say uh, that? Aren't? Are not. They, they, they said that there was no milk. But they clearly have cheese up there. <laughs> I forgot about the milk shit. I think you're a bunch of fucking liars. Ah, oh, jeez, Barnabas, uh, I don't have time for this. I, come on, man. Oh, I think they might be a bunch of filthy, fucking, dirty, lying rats. Well, let's Based at least on look. milk? Is it, has I, it dawned on you that maybe they don't have any milk because they made cheese? All the milk to make cheese. You see Daisy and... Oh how, yeah, you're here. How how would they get all of this up here? It's it's mind blowing that they like. Where would they get milk of, of all the things that they've they've been able to serve us? You know, that thought briefly crossed my mind, and then uh, another person shoved a drink in my face, which reminds me, and I go wander off and I fetch myself a drink. You guys want a cheese roll? <laughs> <laughs> I think I will get something to eat. We just race that cheese? Uh, apparently, if you catch it, you get an extra token. Oh, I'm racing that cheese. <laughs> you want to race the cheese with me? Yeah, I, I, sure. Yeah, you ladies enjoy the cheese racing. I feel a little bit uh, miffed about the milk fiasco. <laughs> oh, yeah, if fucking anyone can catch that cheese, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Taishan, uh, Scrim, you could both go get drinks, and uh, Queenie, I'm gonna you get dessert. Go all the way up. Yeah, you grab some pudding. Up, it's pl plum pudding. It's delicious, oh, and it has more uh, of this pine cone honey, which is the first time uh, you're tasting it. Uh, uh, it has better. This really, really tasty uh, uh, flavor to it's it. It's fine. Um, Queenie, you make your way up to the top, uh, and. Um, uh, they have a new fresh wheel. You can see that it, it, when it reaches the bottom, if it's not caught, that it slams into this like makeshift wall and explodes. And the people who participate in the races are the only people who get to enjoy this woolly rhino cheese. Oh, I'm in. And uh, 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 mm. 
for whatever reason, uh. Daisy is like dive into the deep end of this day. Like, of all the insanity that she's experienced, she's needed a day she to needed chill. a day for herself. And so uh, she's just sort of trying to silently communicate, walk up, convey that she can't talk, and then uh, engage as best she can with the with basically everything except the storytelling. And she's standing right there next to you. I'm gonna win. Sure. We'll see about that, Daisy. All right. All right. We will see. The winner gets the other person's cheese. You're on. Okay, then. All right. All right. Great. All right. Um, let's go. All right. Can I hug you first, though, so that we still know we're friends afterwards? I'm going to give her a big hug. She gives you a But I'm huge still not hug. going easy on you. I wish you wouldn't. I won't. All right. If you win, it's going to be because you earned it. And the cheese wheel is set on this uh, uh, board uh, and allowed to um, start to roll in its momentum. And as soon as it releases, you see uh, the other Dragonborn, Queenie, immediately dart forward. And I, I would like to use my rabbit hop to propel myself forward immediately and get a oh, a running start. Sneak mechanically. If you may do that, maybe. Let me just maybe. make sure that I can read the Depending on if it works right. with the game. A natural 20 uh, will give you a chance to catch the cheese, assuming you are in first or second place. Mm. You choose how much you move. Then you're going to make a dexterity check. If you meet your own DC, so I'm going to go 15 feet, I'm going to go 20 feet, uh. I'm going to go however much. If you meet or beat your own DC, you do not fall down the hill and land prone. If you do, then you go prone, and it'll be the first person who can, in however many ter- moves you can make, cross the 55 uh, feet in order to win the race or catch the cheese. So, because I'm a rabbit, as my bonus action, can I use it in my rabbit hop to get 15 feet for free? I would say that it contributes to your DC because it's it's a precarious like forty five degree angle like downward like you're running so it would be very easy to lose your footing and then uh, tumble forward as you do when you cheese wheel race people die <laughs> do they oh, yeah. they get fucked up yeah yeah, yeah. Pe- people if you if you, if you watch way, it they're so surreal if, you, if you're there's surreal, a real like, thing yeah and they're going cheese wheel racing like the is, cheese it, wheels go. is it a Holy dexterity shit. saving throw it's not a saving throw it's, it's a check okay 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 um yeah sure okay. I know thing. Yeah, I had no idea either. I thought it was some weird thing you came up with. <laughs> no, this is very real. Chasing cheese. Is there a caber toss here? <laughs> ah. So when when do I tell you I'm gonna do? You say how much you're gonna move, and okay. then you make a dexterity check. And it's a dexterity. Daisy check. chose ten feet and rolled a twelve. Okay. So she is now. I'm gonna 10 do feet. twenty. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we got no. twists. <laughs> yeah, let me use a twist. I don't want to fail in the first uh, one. I'm not going to make anyone. Tw- everyone Can has I to buy into the twist. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you yeah. need a million of them. No. <sighs> I fail. It's over. You, <laughs> you jump forward and you I have a plus eight to my deck. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. You jump forward and you land. And you realize that this is a lot more precarious than you realize, and the, some of the gravel goes out from underneath your feet. You fall down. You are now prone, but now we go again because the race isn't over. We're going to keep going until we cross the finish yeah, line. And you got a lot of momentum. So, you're good. Keep going. So <laughs> you're 20 feet ahead, even though you're on your ass, and Daisy is still running down. She's going to choose 10 feet to go again, and now you can use half your movement to stand up, but you still got 15 feet of movement left. Yeah, I'm going time. 15. All right. Fuck Screw yeah. this. You, you, you stay oh, little, easy. You stay in the lead. Yeah, destroyed it. I can't believe it. She got a 10 and a 12 again. So she's at 20, and you're at uh, 35. 35. On right? your feet. On my feet. And you're on your feet. Uh, she sees that you're really uh, beating her. She's going to go 20. Um, and I need to actually know what her dex modifier is in order to see if she's fucking... Kalishikova so. says, searching images of cheese wheel races almost... returns almost entirely images of people falling down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People yeah. get <laughs> fucked up. People like, get really? Really? Oh, yeah. No, they literally, they roll just like the cheese wheel does, only it's like face, then feet, then <laughs> face, then feet. And they pick fucked up hills. They, these yeah. are not like perfectly no, it's, flat it's planes. Like, they, and there's like, like rocks and shit. shit. Rocks yeah. and boulders. It's fucked up. Off. It's actually fucked up. <laughs> and I'm also gonna pick 20. Uh, she falls on her ass, but she's... I got a natural uh, 20. Oh! Uh, very good. Uh, that gives you a 55. Uh, you land. Oh, you but have a chance of catching... You, you, you were in first oh, place. You have a chance of catching the cheese wheel. Yeah. Make oh. a... Um, yeah. 
Uh, make another dexterity check at advantage. The DC is 10. This is for all the marbles that uh, you got at this. 23. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Snatch that cheese. And, and 23. You <laughs> jump next to the cheese wheel and then climb, uh, like, push it over. So it stops its ro- uh, forward rolling momentum and you're able to slide across the finish line. Wrestle that on cheese. The, uh, like, I'm like on the cheese. my side, yeah, just yeah. like. <laughs> and Daisy has fallen on her ass and she's like. 20 feet behind you and she's just like looks extremely defeated and she's just like (laughs) (laughs) she gets up and brushes herself off and she walks over dejected and defeated oh Daisy don't be sad you can have as much of this cheese wheel as you want she gives you one of her tokens oh wow you were in second place out of how many people were in the race, just the two of us? It was just the two of you. <laughs> you were in second place. That That's counts. amazing. That counts for something. <laughs> counts for something. Thanks. Now they say it's first loser. R.M. Jesus, Jesus is blessed queen. I love that. But you know, if we were chased by a bear, all I'd have to do is be faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> Which now we know I am, even going down the slope chasing cheese. So. Chased by a bear. Is it bird. getting darker? Yeah. This is for real? Well, the day is waning on. It's the shortest day of the year. Fair enough. And uh, she decides to go and get herself some of what appears apparently is cloudberry liqueur and a Ooh. shot of water. Hi! Ooh. She's. she's <laughs> hey. uh, you know, cloudberries are a real thing. Yes, they are. I thought it was a Valheim They're apparently thing. very, very delicious. Yeah, yeah. Wow. but they, they're extremely rare, and botanists have had extremely diffi- like difficult times trying to yep. mass produce them. Whoa. So. Um, Adventures and in Initiative says, "Hey, I see you guys in TikTok. Oh, hey, welcome, oh, welcome, oh, welcome oh, Adventures. Yeah. Welcome. welcome. And here we are in the flesh. This is like a very, 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 very long TikTok. <laughs> 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 you know, do not have close to enough varies in there. <laughs> so just stick around. Right. We'll multiply that. So we're right. doing now. Just keep like, watching." To the 3,000 TikToks in a row. <laughs> Just think of it that way. How long can a TikTok be? A minute? Um, Up well, to three. you can like... Uh, yeah, a, a week, a, like my, my personal deadline is a minute. It's okay. 60 seconds. Um, what other games are there that we haven't participated in? There's the ear pull, if you're so interested. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've got enough holes in my ears already, all right? I don't need any more. I, I gotta keep those. Uh, I'll do an ear pull. You sit uh, across from a dragonborn, and uh, they take um, what is clearly extremely strong, tight uh, woven bark rope. And it's uh, in a loop so that it cannot break. Dark rope. And uh, it, uh, they gesture to, uh, they explain. I don't know why I'm doing Daisy's mutinous. Um, this is a game of uh, uh, endurance uh, and uh, 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 will and uh, willpower. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. You uh, 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 fasten it just behind your ear and you uh, pull as hard as you can. Uh, mechanically, you'll be making a charisma check for the will power because it's going to hurt. And then you're going to okay. add your con modifier along with your cha mod- modifier. And it's best of three wins. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> However, if you lose all three times, you will lose your ear. <laughs> wow. That, that it'll, settles come, it'll come free from your head. <laughs> Thank you. I was really wondering what losing your ear meant. <laughs> it, it will be torn from your, your head. <laughs> Barnabas, are, are you sure you want to do this? If he loses three times in a row, I rip his ear off. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, that goes for you, too. I mean, you're pretty tough, but, like, we're talking about ears here. Yeah, I'm tougher than this guy. Yeah, but how, are you, how tough are your ears? Think about it, sir. They're real, real tough ears. <laughs> how many of the villagers are missing ears? <laughs> Did Silver Dragonborn have ears? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't have these, right? But they've got their, like, crowny... I don't know, how, how do fucking Dragon Board hear if they don't have ears? They've got yeah, their ear holes. Your ear holes. Oh, no. <laughs> your it's your ear versus the <laughs> crown of his horn. I'll rip this guy's horn off. I don't <laughs> yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you sit across <laughs> from... Um, That's a good point. If the other guy has his ears, you know he's never lost this game, not even once. Uh, you, uh, you, you You're sit, both currently you sit across a stout uh, uh, woman, uh, dragonborn. Uh, uh, you actually uh, recognize this woman. Uh, oh, hello, madam. Uh, uh, girls who um, was massaging you uh, for the uh, uh, for the no. cold branding. Bonapos, you don't stand a Opia chance. She has very herself. strong hands. Opia. 
Hello uh, 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 there, uh, fine lady. How are you good, this evening? Good Madam? to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too. Or uh, Opia. Opia. Are you uh, related to uh, what's his name? Onism. Oh, Oh, nice. <laughs> are you related? We are all family here. Let us play. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Careful, Bonobo. She looks like she can take a punch. Uh, she's 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 the kick kick. And uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Like if they were gonna make a pyramid of dragonborn, she'd be on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Her fingers were like biceps. Holy shit! Uh, all right, uh, add your con and shaw. I have actually pulled a muscle in my, in my shoulder from laughing. Thirteen. Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen. Oh shit! You you pull back and she. <sighs> uh, oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> Roll again. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. No. It's a natural one. Oh <laughs> no! But she didn't lose all three. No, no, no. It's, it's a five. Uh, twenty. And so uh, she, she like, uh, like almost as if the first one was a faint. Okay, she knows it's in an ear. <clears throat> Pulls, pulls back and all of a sudden you realize that like the only thing keeping you from falling forward and being pulled over by her tremendous strength is the fact that you've got such a great huge belly. Ah, <laughs> see, <laughs> this is all performance. <laughs> and it comes down to this final roll. Oh my goodness. Seven. Four. And you pulling, and you you, you you both come to an even staring match almost, and you pulling and you're pulling, and she starts to feel like she's gonna lose her ear. She releases, and you pull back, and you fall back in victory. You get a token. I feel very victorious. Very nice. Good game. Good game. Good well game. played. Well played. I, I, my ear really hurts. It's been a long time. Since I've had a game like this. Oh, I'm glad. Me too. Me too. I'm Go going play. to get some liquor. And she stands up and stomps away. Sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning into the archbishop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I will have a oh, chocolate <laughs> and a cookie. <laughs> oh, that looks <laughs> sinful. I, I suppose know. no one's looking. <laughs> Oh, it's a scotch pudding and having spoons, but this is gonna go right to my ears. Three. Oh, this is sinful. <laughs> we should all eat the whipped cream off each other. I'm just joking, unless <laughs> this is hardly worth the calories. <laughs> this is all fat freeze, right? <laughs> The uh, amount of revelry and merriment, uh, the songs being sung, the, pe the people cheering high as they take shots of water to keep them steady uh, through all of the engorging of food and consuming, a, a devouring of uh, 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 lots of liquor and ale and, and, and other alcoholic beverages, uh, it, it starts to calm as uh, the time approaches that we need to finish this procession and reach the summit. Uh, tai Shen, you're invited to once again pick up the young body of Notice, and uh, in this instance, you are asked to lead the way, lead the the full circle, all of these druids, along with your friends, to the top. I'll do so. Pick him up. Pick I'll him up. up the head. Five of you, uh, including Daisy, um, uh, are also uh, allowed to uh, uh, take the front, and they are starting to sing this sort of similar hymnal song, that same song that you heard at the uh, start, uh, <coughs> though you were um, full of uh, oh, adrenaline and, and uh, horror in that moment. Um, you uh, now are hearing it in a very different light, and it is indeed a banger. <laughs> It I'm, is what the kids say. <laughs> slaps. It's basically like while we're doing for this, real, for real. I want to be no, like yeah. super awesome. fixed on uh, the sun. If you've seen the film, I'm basically Kiefer Sutherland from Melancholia, where I'm. That's like, a fucking weird movie. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Then I doubt anyone's seen it. Oh, I, you, you've seen it. Uh, like, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, like it's also like haunting. like checking the sun and like seeing if it's moving at all. Um, not only is it not. 
scanning on the horizon, it seems locked in place in that same position where it was aligned with the Wheel of Years. And uh, it does indeed seem smaller, redder. It, it's almost at this stage uh, uh, the size of like a pinhead. What would have been a uh, full thumb's width now? It, what the it's hell? disappearing. This it is, is, it is diminishing. This I'm is, very concerned. This will, I've lost it's all me, hope. It's filling me with dread. <laughs> oh, like, I no longer I have hope. No hope. <laughs> you walk and listen to this hymn. Uh, looking yeah. at the sun, uh, all of you have started to recognize that it is as will very soon approach as small as the stars of, uh, in the sky uh, are. Uh, little dots of light. Uh, it appears to be vanishing. And uh, another 200 feet of ascent slowly winding around this ever-shrinking uh, 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 top of the mountain. The, the, the tip uh, making your way up to what is a flat top. A mesa. A mesa. Of a mesa mountain. <laughs> the summit is adorned with massive monoliths. Six total. Sorry, five total. Five total monoliths. And sitting in the center of this mon uh, of this um circle of additional stones at the crown of this mountain uh, you can see that there's someone who hasn't participated that you haven't seen in any of the um, camps so far as you've made your ascent up this mountain you are staring at what is very clearly a very old dragonborn woman she is sitting there and she's just staring into a campfire of perhaps her own making alone um, before you can reach that circle though you can see that there's a, a, a sort of a great patch of earth, snowy earth, um, and uh, it, you'll have to cross it in order to reach this central ritual area. The crowd of dragonborn druids behind you stop and wait for some sign. And all you hear is the wind blowing the darkening sky overhead until you hear her voice. I must speak with them alone. Wait, there is time enough for this. And you hear a voice at your side, the same voice of Sonder. It is up to, to the five of you. I, I think that she means you. Why yeah. would she mean us? It seems like a lot of responsibility for everything that's, you know, going on right yeah, now. We're not even part of your clan. She wants to speak to us alone. She what? is our our leader, our, our seer. Are you all family? Not by blood. Oh, all right. Is she the one that is to bring this boy back we will all bring her back bring him back together that is what we have been doing all day all not all I'm right sorry. like i said this is why we are here it's all part of our fate and i'll sort of look and kind of silently kind of ask if it's like okay to I'll kind of you know Give him a slight nod. Is like, huh? Can I go? You may go. Yes. yes. The, the Do nod. not keep her waiting. There is not much time. And um, I'll start to cross. I would have fallen with him. Yeah, yeah, I would scramble after you. Yep. yep. You uh, cross the the dirt patch, and you find yourself uh, around a humble fire uh, at the center of this. Um, uh, almost matching stone circle. Uh, it doesn't have the calendar on it. It instead has uh, uh, their most powerful runes, perhaps, um, carved under the faces of these uh, massive uh, stone pillars, wondering, gosh, how do you even get stone of this kind up a mountain uh, of this size? When you approach, oh, my apologies. There's a no an additional detail that's very important. 
you're you stopped before you approach. Do you have any metal on you? Shit. Yes, I do. I have a lot of metal on me. Uh, what, what kind of metal? Uh, if it is uh, uh, gold or silver or electrum, copper, uh, adamantine, uh, it, it, it won't be affected. But these are lodestones. Metal cannot pass inside that circle. Oh. What, what are we supposed to do with the things that we have that might be metal? Can we just, like, leave them here temporarily? We will watch them carefully, yes. Uh, okay. Um, just, uh, you know, make sure I get these back. Uh, you know, you never know when they'll come in handy. And I hand him a small envelope. Uh, it's it's a, like a leather pouch. I just hand it over. He can look inside if he wants, but I don't openly say what it is. And for my DM knowledge, what's inside the pouch? Thief stools. Oh, okay. So a little hooky yeah. and... You know, I, I assume that there will be some metal in these things. Uh, yeah, they would absolutely be made of metal. <laughs> and it, it clinks into his hand uh, as, as it drops and he, he holds onto it. <clears throat> okay, here's my, my anchor. Uh, there's uh, five harpoons. Uh, here's all of my uh, tackle. Um, uh, this is my tin whistle. Uh... Uh, this, uh, I think that's... Oh, no, this is my pan. I swear <laughs> to you, if anything happens to this, or any of this, I will find you, and I will end you. I don't need these weapons to kill, you understand? All mean cooking utensils. Inside this giant <laughs> pile of like someone, they, like a number of people come over to help you, and like uh, they they start to take the stuff, and like just the anchor like makes them collapse from the weight. Like they they, they are, do not have your barbarian strength, so they uh, uh, struggle. But it lands on the ground. We'll watch it here. We'll watch it here. Oh, Miss Yupan, Barnabas, grab my dagger from my side. Send them my dagger. I'll reach down, I'll grab your dagger, and I'll take both of mine and throw them into the dirt. Okay. That's all I got. All my ears are bone tipped. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh touch it. I'll pass over all my metal stuff. You do, and you start to make your way, and you cross the threshold of this circle, and you feel this uh, uh, place of power magic. Uh, you, you feel it uh, uh, hum through the air. Uh, this, um, uh, you, you can feel that there's uh, something almost passing through you. Uh, this very clearly is a naturally powerful place. Uh, one of the few secret uh, sites of Drakkar. And you start to walk up, and next to um, this old lady is a small pedestal with <laughs> what is a four feet long horn that tapers to a point. Fixed within the pedestal at the dead center of this uh, monument, this circle. And the old woman looks up. I thought you would be here sooner. So how, how could we have gotten here sooner? We've been with the, the procession all day. Uh, I, I mean, you, you, like, you mean weeks ago? Hours ago? What? For many winters, I have looked into the fire. I have not seen your faces, but I felt that you would be coming. Oh, is that a good thing? Yes. Are you happy to see us? This is a good thing. I would like to hear it from her. <laughs> She's the one seeing us in the flames. You're near. I won't say anything back. It is... Neither a good or a bad thing, Queen. Right, so why are you lying to us? It is a true thing that you are here to do good, but it will be very hard. I haven't shied away from hard work a day in my life. It is destiny that brought you here. <clears throat> I 
We can speak openly now. We can take this time, this last hour, to understand what it is that you are doing here. Why you've been drawn to this space, this spot, this time now. And I can commune with those who brought you here to understand better how you can accept your faiths. What do you mean? I am the first of the Circle of the Woolly Rhino for centuries. I was the first to learn to bind myself to the land in the way that the others have, to be able to return on holy days, to celebrate midwinter, the beginning of spring, the equinoxes. is a blessing that I have always been able to see. See into nature. See into the cosmos. If I share this gift with you, then perhaps you can understand what it is that you are meant for. What it is that you must do for Trakar. For that is why you are here. Look, I, I'm going to be honest here. You only have to stop talking about fate and, and direction and where we need to be at all times, but I've been running, running for a long time, and I just happened to be in the tavern when I met them, and we got crashed on this island, this this, this continent. How can there be a purpose in that? It's all random chance. Fate is like a wind. It might pick you up and blow you around and your twisting might feel like your own choice but the current of the wind still takes you where you are going or perhaps another way to put it you are like a cheese wheel at the top of a hill when someone gives you a push it may bounce left or right But we all know it will end up at the bottom of the hill. Something has pushed you. You're you're, you're offering to reach out to or talk to that entity that gave us the push? I'm inviting them to speak on your behalf. I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to agree to that. Why would you not? What? what do you mean, why would I not? This might be your opportunity. You, you all saw what I went through! To end the chase. Or at least begin your path to ending the chase. Nor could claim me right here while we stand here. I believe that is unlikely. I would very much like this. I believe this is all what we're supposed to do. Oh. She said that fate was like a... like the wind. Right? That was a good thing. But what if it saw a trick? It's a terrible... What if we were brought here for dark purposes? Fate's more like a balloon and Something bad happens. Or like a plastic bag blowing on the wind. You're really hung up on this whole milk thing. It's still, you're still on about that. All oh, these fucking liars. <laughs> so far, this land has not given us anything without exacting a, a terrible toll. It's hard to believe that she would offer a gift and there would be no price. We know that the car... The woolly rhino is in some kind of danger. We've all seen it. I know that Rakar is just like Mamut. If there is no 
sinister nature to these gods. They are gods of the land. They are the most important gods. Without them, there is no us. There is no land. There is no existence. At least this is what we believe. If all of this is true, I hope you understand all of those men who boarded that ship were doomed from the very start and not because of any seabird precisely right it had nothing to do but because of us with the seabird we killed all those men it was not us it was their fate because they would sail with us am I wrong in that Assessment, Mr. Yorn. That is not up to us to decide. It happened to be their fate that they were on the same ship that would carry us. Yes. It was an unfortunate fate. But it was not our decision. We did not decide their fate. Just like we didn't decide ours. You're right. Exactly right. I trust... Your judgment, you're the one with the magic eye that sees through the fates. Like the wind in the mood in my circle, there are trees that grow high on top of the fjords. And there's a strong wind that blows from off the ocean. Day and night, it blows and blows. Those trees, do they grow tall? No. They grow outward. They start to go up and then they grow where they're pushed. Each of us can only grow the way the wind blows. Fate is that wind that is guiding how we grow. It is not bad. And like you said, it is not necessarily good. I believe this is a good thing because I have a purpose here. I personally believe we all have a purpose here. But I will not attempt to convince you. I am ready. And I'll look at her. Hear me. When you accept your fate, when it is plain to you, you will no longer be pushed by it. You will be the one driving. You will be the one making choices for yourselves from the moment you say yes. That will be when you have accepted the mantle of this responsibility. I have seen many visions. I've seen a destructive fate for Drakkar were it not for the five of you. This catastrophe can only be avoided because of some action that you take, some choice that you make, some... If you want to be free of fate, then you must find that thing, own it, become your own destiny. Look, darling, I don't got any other choice, so I agree to whatever this is. And I think the rest of us should too. Because she's right, right now what choice do we have? But with knowledge, with more information, Maybe then we'll have more of a choice. Tears are welling in the eyes of this nameless arch arch druid. Pouring down, she's clearly reliving what she's seen and finding the right memory to share. In what limited time she feels she has left, to share this gift with you. There is only one way to 
prevent the fall of our great land, Dakar. There is an artifact. It must be taken from here. The way the way a thorn can be pulled from the paw of a beast. Is it the hexagonal chamber thing? I know not of what you speak. What was what was it that weird Iron Man said? Hexagonal armament. Hexature. Yeah. No, the hexature armament. The hexature armament. Tell me more of this metal man and the what you know of this hexature armament. It, when she speaks the words, it seems like that sound, those sounds in that order almost are weird to her. Oh, I don't know. We just met him. Well, not really met. There's... We were with some kobolds, and this metal man showed up and said he was going to kill everyone if we didn't give him the hexature armament thing, and we didn't have it, and they didn't have it, and he finally realized that was the case, and he left. It was a being of order, looking for some, like you say, presumably some sort of artifact. He was a machine of a man, on a machine of a horse. I do not know what his role is in all of this, or if that is the artifact you seek. But I cannot think of anything more antithetical to the ways of our land. If, if I were to gamble, I would say that is that is likely the clue that you need to follow. He mentioned Nirvana. That does ring true in my visions. What have you seen? She begins to describe her visions in full. It takes a few minutes for her to complete her tale, but you each recognize moments from the time that the lights swept you up, these curtains that took you into your own memories and the changes where you saw the woolly rhino either dying or the horn, which you realize looks almost identical to the one that is here, filling with blood, spilling out in Yornir's memory. And then an apocalyptic vision of uh, organic nature um, shattering but then being remade and transforming into straight lines rigid edges and it feels like what she's describing is uh, is parallel uh, it, it feels like truth we have seen the same we have all had visions of this I am so glad to finally meet you champions each I do not envy your journey but I am grateful to accept your fate we must we must consult the lights that you saw in your journey when you were accepted here by Dakar when you went from foreigners to what's the word for citizens that's not as ugly as citizens <laughs> for people of the land there you go, that's good I invite you to the edge and she stands and very sort of slowly makes her way over to the edge of the this cliff looking straight out at what is a dying sun and in this moment she invites you to join her this is very clearly the place where notice had jumped 12 15 hours ago i'll join her yeah i would follow yeah, but very too. cautiously she sits for me to channel this energy i will need to mute myself as much as possible. Actually. 
It's prop time. <laughs> One moment. What the hell? <laughs> Derek is putting on a blindfold. It's very interesting. Oh, for the podcast. For our podcasters. When this Derek is right. putting on a blindfold. He looks down at his notes. He looks up. He adjusts the blindfold. It's not tight enough. He can tell. Uh, right. I'm not going to be able to do this with blindfold on, so like that. <laughs> <laughs> she blindfolds herself. That was a lot of pomp. That was a lot of pomp. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I thought I could do it, but I can't. Um, it was a nice thought. <laughs> she does this, and then she... Th- reaches out and her voice booms out. Instead of this quiet, older, dragonborn lady voice, she uh, booms out, let each champion speak in turn, in the order that answered the call. Barnabas, you turn and off the cliff, you see a swirling ocean blue light starts to emerge and you hear the voice of the archdruid. You must walk out to meet with her. I will... I'll reach down to my side. I'll pull out my shell. I know you're with me as far as I am from the sea. I'll put it back. And I will completely immediately get covered in uh, seawater and barnacles and starfish as both of my hands turn to crab claws. And I will step. You walk to the edge of the cliff and you can see this shifting light in all directions. And you look down and you look up and it's as beautiful as the reflection of water, bright blues and dark, uh, uh, bright whites and dark blues shifting, just like the uh, surface of the sea when you're underneath it looking up. And you take a step, expecting perhaps to fall, but you step and you land on air, and you are walking out onto a plane of almost nothingness. And... Five feet, ten feet, you're out beyond the edge of the cliff, staring out to the sky, staring, looking around wherever you might, perhaps just looking at the light that is swimming around you and, and, and uh, 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 surrounding you. And you hear the voice of the woman in the shell. You all hear Barnabas speak out loud. The voice says, Drakkar calls for aid. And the goddess of the sea will answer. First to answer, we commit tide hunter Barnabas Dreadwake, our champion, to lend our support in finding the coming catastrophe in fighting the coming catastrophe and defending Drakkar. They are strong, experienced, determined. What are you feeling in this moment, Barnabas? If I hear her voice, I'm feeling fucking great. Do you hear this voice clearer than you've ever heard it? It's not quiet and small and in your ear the way it is when it comes to you from the shell. I feel light. You feel, yes. And you hear the voice of the seer in this moment as you feel these feelings. What say thee, Barnabas? Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. (laughs) I never thought I could feel so free. I pledge my anchor, my claws, my teeth and tail (laughs) to prevent calamity. You're now level six. Hey! And you turn and walk back to the oh, summit. If you decline as a trap door and open, you <laughs> die. You just fuck around and find out. <laughs> Damn. Fuck around and find out. out. <laughs> <laughs> You're near. You see the light shift from 
that ocean blue to a familiar green that you've seen before. The same green that you experienced in a village just before sharing your long story with your companions. Uh, as I'll walk to the edge and I will, I guess, did I, so I saw Barnabo straight up like walk. Yeah. On air. Good question. Um, the same. I will look at my companions. I'll give a deep nod. Uh, and I'll sort of tighten the mammoth tusks that are fastened to my back and I will put my staff out first and then take a step out. You take a step out and your foot lands sure. It, your footfall after footfall after footfall, you're walking out and you're amazed that, this, uh, that you're supported by some protective force. Drakkar calls for aid. You feel the voice come out of your lips, but it sounds like three voices. Shit. Drakkar calls for aid and the gods of the land will answer. You hear Yornir, the four of you. Second to answer, we commit Shaman Yornir, our champion, to lend our support in fighting the coming catastrophe and defending Drakkar. They are devout, selfless, vigilant. How do you feel in this moment, Yornir? Um, I will feel incredibly blessed, renewed, and uh, filled with hope, I'll say. This is confirmation of everything I've been feeling, where I believed I've had actual faith up until this point, where I just, I believed that this was the path, and then I've, this is the, finally the confirmation. So I'm like, I'm actually like, there are tears in my eyes. You Hearing feel, uh, for the three gods. it's a, a oh, orgasmic nice. feeling. Yeah. Uh, oh, what say the, <laughs> what say the yoni? Oh, you hear a voice as, as you're overwhelmed by emotion. Yes, this is my destiny. I will complete my pilgrimage. Your will is mine. And I'll just sort of bow my head deeply in reverence. And when you raise your head and start to turn, you feel this surge of confidence in you. You're now level six. No trap door, you're lucky. The licking green lights fade and a yellow, sunflower yellow, suddenly rises up. Uh, curtains uh, uh, almost making a floor inviting you, Queenie. Alright, well. So far, two for two, so I'm gonna move forward and tap my little foot just right over the edge. Uh, uh, Alright, okay. I'm gonna jump and then jump back. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to walk out. You tested uh, the waters a little bit, and it isn't until you commit that you feel something sturdy, like foundation under your feet. When you actually like just did a little bit of a dip, the hop worked, but the dip did not. You actually needed to faithfully jump oh. into this moment. Leave a faith. Yeah. When you reach five, ten feet out, you hear... Queenie's voice. Drakkar calls for aid. The Valor of Avantris will answer. Third to answer, we commit Queenie of Foxbridge, our champion, to lend our support in fighting the coming catastrophe and defending Drakkar. They are brave, kind, wise. When you f- hear these words, how do you feel in what this moment? What voice am I hearing? Do I recognize it? You don't recognize that you've never heard this voice. Okay. But there is a lilt to the cadence of it in your ears, not Queenie's voice, but in the way that you hear this voice that makes you think of Eldred. 
I'll smile and Queenie feels like warmth at the memory of her best friend. And she'll grab onto the bow on her back and she'll present it. You have my bow. But as soon as you say these words and That's accept, right. you turn and you uh, feel your bravery redouble. You're now level six. Beautiful. The light shifts and changes. That yellow light warms, turning into a brilliant sunset red. Far more fiery than the thin line of the dawn, twilight, sunset, dying star that is on the horizon. But we're not... Thinking, even thinking of that, Taishan, you feel drawn by the color that was what let you relive your memories, share your story with your friends at a campfire many months ago. What do you do? Uh, I would walk to would walk to the edge, uh, and before attempting to step out, I would. Uh, look over my shoulder back at uh, Notice, who I would have put down on the ground in between the lodestones. Uh, look down at my claws and then step out. When you f- make your first, first step, there's that leaping moment in your heart where, is this going to work? It's worked for the others. And you're so glad to feel your footfall land on something on matter and you make it five ten feet out and suddenly you feel this great swell in your mind you hear the voice of who's very clearly it rings uh as clearly as the day you met him on a mountaintop many many hundreds of miles from here drakar calls for aid and the setting sun fu zhao will answer fourth to answer we commit taishan fire blossom our champion to lend our support in fighting the coming catastrophe and defending Drakkar. They are generous, flexible, mindful. What say thee, Taishen? You hear a voice call out from the archdruid behind you. How are you feeling in this moment? I think, uh... I think kind of heavy, like hoping that, you know, this, these are not the, what's happened, what's brought us here so far, the sacrifice to, to get to this trial uh, is not the kind of acts that are going to be required to heal this land. Um, but I want to help heal it, and I'll... I'll pledge myself to that. You make this pledge with a mindful heart and turning, you return, feel a renewed flame starting to kindle as you are thinking on these thoughts and you are now level six. Scrim, you burst into flames. Yeah, I'm like, yeah I'll say. I'm going to get trapped over in Wilhelm scream. <laughs> the sunset red little curtains shift and disappear. It's dark. You can see the stars in the sky. It's cloudless. The wind howls all around you. And the four of you turn. The archdruid turns. Looking at Scrim. A fifth champion. Champion's a little strong, don't you think? There is power in five. You have been chosen. Go accept your fate. Stupid coin. Bastard man of that tavern. God's damn t- contract! <laughs> Fine. I don't really have a choice here, like Queenie said. So be it. You walk up to the edge of the cliff, <laughs> and <laughs> the wind seems to be blowing higher, harder than ever. Your companions don't seem to say or notice anything, but you do not see the lights. 
it is blank air. You can see so clearly on a visible day like this that it's just air. And looking down, it's so dark, but you can still see that tiny little circle right at the bottom of the cliff face. You can almost, maybe it's your imagination, swear that you can see the blood still. I will uh, visibly quake, visibly quaking. I will close my eyes and and almost silently under my breath say, like, please, you're going to be right. He is going to be right. And I will uh, step out. My eyes closed. I will step out. I'll put one foot out. Eyes closed. You put your step, your foot out, and you land on something. I I continue to put one foot in front of the other. You, You open your eyes. Once I feel like I am, uh, I found purchase, yeah, I will open my eyes. And, you and don't forward. fall, but you take a step forward, a step forward, a step forward. Cold air swimming all around you. Four, five, six, seven, eight steps. What are you doing? I'm, I'm looking around to see where I am if I've made it out over the ledge. You are eight steps away from the cliff and you look down and your foot is not standing on curtains of pewter gray light. Two clawed paws suspend your feet as you look down. You can see a terrifying hound's face looking up at you, grinning drool pulling pulled by gravity and falling down this terrible distance it seems to have been mirroring your steps i'm too scared to jump i I, like i would normally that would scare me and and i would jump but i'm too scared to jump for fear that i will plummet however many hundreds of feet to my doom it almost like a cat extending its claws around your feet it pulls in and and tightens around it doesn't pierce your boots or anything like that but it seems to understand that you're thinking about jumping for this moment and so and champion. dig in for for just a moment and then you hear it <sighs> yeah i'm completely frozen uh. in fear you four are waiting waiting to hear scrim's voice the way that you've heard each other's voices the arch druid is making its her way back and forth tra- channeling energy trying to help with the communion uh, communion that you're 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 uh, enjoying no voice comes out of your lungs i uh i will look this creature in the face to the best of my ability it's violently shaking it stares at you with its black evil eyes red glowing embers please please ah, i just i just want to go home i want to survive i want to live through this I want my friends to be okay. That's all I've got left is my friends. Please, I'm begging you. Whatever contract I signed, whatever I did, fine. But please, just let me get through this. That's all I'm asking. You whisper these words and they aren't picked up by your friends. You seem almost to be speaking in silence. You don't don't know if you're even making sound when you hear a voice in response inside of your mind. Speak the words. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, I, I pledge myself as champion uh, to Drakkar and, and all that jazz and all the good stuff, etc., etc. The fine print, whatever there may be. Please, please, I pledge myself champion. I'll fix it. You see a nod as you accept this twisted fate. And that's when the curtains do emerge. In this moment, you see this grinning, terrifying dark hound staring up at you, becoming obfuscated by the lights that you were met with so long ago when you told your story. And it looks around, almost a little bit surprised by this, but then looks at you and gives you a, we've done what we needed to do here look, and releases your feet. You find yourself standing on a curtain of light. Do I feel that I've achieved what I needed to achieve, and then I can walk back to the to the ledge, or or do I feel all of you hear him pledge his 
fate to Drakkar that you needed to, as scared as he sounded, you, you heard him agree. As soon as I feel that my, my boots have been released, I would almost sprint back. You turn and you run. And you uh, make it back to solid ground. My friends would be able to tell that I am as pale as a green goblin can possibly be. And you are now level six. Woo! And I collapse in the <laughs> snow. A Tyshen's feet. You ro- goblin rocket jump back. <laughs> yes, basically. You make it back to the top of the summit, and the five of you are standing uh, transformed. This has been an eventful day. It has not just been a day of revelry uh, and a day of uh, shock but now a day that feels extremely intimately personal for each of you and for your friends, knowing that you are all bound in some way together. The archdruid lifts up and pulls her blindfold off. She stands, stretching a little. Thank you. Thank you for what it is that you have to do. I have no idea. Not truly. I will continue to watch with great interest. But before we can discuss further, we must save the seasons. We must save spring. We must call the sun back to us. Yes. Yes, how, how can we assist? Let us first determine who is midwinter and f- father and mother. They will be required for this final step. Are they going to perform public sex in... <laughs> yes. I, had, I knew it. I just felt it in my bones. The ritual is called the onism. <laughs> oh shit! Is that why? Uh, oh, that's why they're all called onism. Actually, I'm going to say uh, that that is where we're going to call tonight's session because (laughs) this ritual will take it a little bit while longer and I enjoy a cliffhanger. Let's find out if we save the sun in September. Yeah, no, I think Uh, all of us were waiting when you said like, it's time for us to like save the thing. And we're like, of course he's going to say that's all in the session. Yes. <laughs> so did she really yeah. answer yes to Queenie's question? No. Oh. No, that's just goofy. Yeah. Is it really? We're not done. Goofy. Do you We're want to really determine? Are we, would you determine the 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 bean thing now? Uh, Presumably, that's the father and mother. At the start thing. of next session, we'll find out if the person with the most beans exceeds the dragonborn who are also participating and competing for tokens uh, all, all day and uh, they will participate in the ritual to uh, God, resurrect I really, nodal. I definitely hope it's not a public sexing because I'm pretty sure that if we win it's being part of us. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, have, you have seven and I have eight. Is our yep. fan artist still in? Or <laughs> <laughs> Good gosh, you went to a lot of bait. There's a lot of bait there. There's a lot of fan art bait. There. A lot of magical <laughs> realm. A lot of magical uh, realm. Yeah, only because it's one thirty, and I think that we probably would need another hour. So yeah. let's yeah. just oh, yeah. 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 the yeah. beginning of next session. Sounds and good. That'll actually work really well. So let's do that. Thanks well, for playing. My brain Thank is you. melting. Um, don't go anywhere. We're going to do a quick and interesting show where we talk about our favorite moments and we answer your questions. Um, so stick around for that. Uh, if you are going to go, uh, we will be back on Wednesday, Wednesday we for the see. first session of our brand new campaign. Dun, dun, dun. What? Once, Once upon, upon a, a witch light. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're playing a mo- the the module, uh, the witch light module, DM by Nikki, Me. with the Avantra spin on it. Um, with some familiar characters and a new character. It's going to be a madcap, hilarious time. We're very excited. You hear so, me laughing about it? Uh, no, I'm oh. laughing at one guard saying Queen and Tyshen should get <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. So the, mo- the mother nice. and father, Barnabas and Scrim. <laughs> uh, don't tease me. Oi, <laughs> Will, I suppose. Oi, Will.
Christmas yeah. festivals giving yeah. gifts so I can it's give this Christmas dress. Yeah. 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 I'm not yeah. yeah. I'll tackle this box. Well, you know what I mean? It's going to be a little bitch in my giddy up tomorrow. <laughs> so, anyway, join us uh, weekly on Wednesdays at 7 30 p.m. Eastern oh, for uh, Once Upon a Witch Lights. Um, and it should be a good time. So, with that, we will begin.